two. What is up, my beautiful people? Song of my heart today, because it's Wednesday. Thank you, Lena. September 21st. Here is Ethan Klein. Off the rails. Hello. Uh oh. The Ninja and Obi Wan podcast. Hello in the there. World. Number one, number one, number one. Oh no. Hi, my Not the nebula. Oh, you're getting nervous, man. My shoulder got me about the fuck I got. Let me tell you, man. Ladies and gentlemen, Ow. we got him. Ow. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Ow. We got him. Ow. Ow. We got him. Ow. Damn, that's a hellscape. We got him. 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 Wow. We got him. Oh, you got me in a little. Do not want to get canceled. This my top five. Right. Right. <laughs> oh shit. Not Wally. Wow. Wow. Talk about like the political and economic state of the Wow. Is that a number? Whose phone number is that? <laughs> Why did we show Wally's phone number? It's his name on TikTok. I'm blue. I'm. I just. My ego just died. Who here just had ego death? Only just me? No, no, I, I am. I'm I forgot on, who I was. Or I'm what on the you... astral plane right now, yeah. my dude. <laughs> wow, another masterpiece uh, collaboration between, I would assume, Zach and Ian. Yes, yes indeed. Lot, lot, great um, visuals, uh, great audio. What a journey. Thank you. I think that's what they say happens uh, when Haley Bobbitt comes around. If you drink the Kool-Aid and kill yourself, that's basically what you see in the afterlife. Some right? Jim Jones shit. You know? Haley Bobbitt, huh? Haley Bobbitt? <laughs> What's the name of the actual comment? Hail Bob. A, yeah, Hail Bob. What a ridiculous Bob. name. Hail Bob? Haley uh, Try John again. Wayne Bobbitt. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Anyways, guys, welcome. There's a heck of an episode here today. A lot going on. Sponsored by Gamersup. Rise up, gamers. It's Gamersup Nation. GG. Fucking go! Dude, I'm Gamersup Army right now. This this stuff keeps me flying through the show. That's right. And, of course, HelloFresh, who we all love so well. Thank you. Um, today, yesterday, was... I don't know how many of you are, like, super in touch with Twitch. Um... I'm more so now because we're of Hassan, my friendship with Hassan. Um, Love is also really into Twitch, so he kind of keeps us appraised. I guess you are too, Ian, <laughs> right? Uh, as you mentioned, kind of just through the association. Right. Well, for those of you who didn't see it, Twitch had a complete and total meltdown slash civil war yesterday. I, I, I don't, I mean, I can... I can compare it to like drama get in on YouTube when like Tati went after James and Jeffrey, but, but <laughs> it is this. I guess it's not. It's as crazy as that. I would say. Yeah. I mean, that was pretty insane that time. Yeah, probably. I think maybe like it's a nicher thing because drama get in for some reason it felt like the whole world knew right. about it. Um, but yeah, I think in terms of how well, significant. Well, this one has like. Threads of corruption, th threads of crimes, mm -hmm. and then Twitch ultimately, in the midst of everything melting down, putting out an announcement that they're banning gambling on Twitch, which is great news, obviously. 
uh, as someone, me, who's been advocating for that for a long time. If you go way back even to the shack, that's right, steak shack. Um, oh, by the way, what's up, TikTok? What's up, my tater tots? W. Sneeko. Let's get Sneekos in the chat. No! Hey, TikTokers, t- my tater tots, come try it out. You know, I'm reaching across the aisle. I'll, I'll say I hate women, whatever you want. Just come over and <laughs> give it a shot. Yeah, I, hey, guys, I hate women, man. They suck. All right, come check it out. From death to life. I don't actually hate women. Don't tell TikTok. Fuck. I respect women. So we're going to get into that. Um, women be shopping, baby. <laughs> They sure do. Wow. Man, that, that's, that's so like, true, dude. That was a prophetic moment there. And uh, the, uh, uh, what was it? The f- fat professor? The nutty, nutty professor. The nutty professor, yeah. He's nutty. He's not fat. He's nutty. Yeah. Mm. And then, after that, at around 2.30, 2.15, what time is he coming? Oh, like 2.30. 2.30. Yeah. Young Gravy, at long last... The musical genius of Young Gravy will be joining us in an hour to discuss all the gravy he be uh, spreading around. Spreading, he be spreading that gravy, and I'm here for it. Gravy, baste me up like a turkey, daddy. Um, I have a question. Do you guys like it better, hat or no hat? Because my hair is pretty unkempt and long. The hat, I feel, it fits my head kind of weird. I like no hat. No hat. Got your hat. Let it be wild and yes. free, dude. Yes. Cameron in his uh got your hat. Cameron Cameron became the the bat rabbit or whatever it is. Yeah, I used to be, but now I fully am again. Hmm. Cute. All right, well, let's do it. Let's just get into it. We have so much to talk about for pizza's sake. Um <laughs> Yes. So, basically one thing I wanted to show you guys before we get started ultimately is tomorrow uh September 22nd, new Teddy Fresh collections dropping at teddyfresh.com. Mm. Actually, really nice stuff here. Let me check this out. That's hot. So this sweater is dope, but what's even, it looks great. I love it. It's 100% recycled material, 100%, <laughs> which, which is a new vertical we're getting into, obviously. Um, it's super important to start investing more in recycled fabrics, and this was kind of our first Entry in, but 100% recycled. Oh, that's hot. So, yeah, pretty exciting. Pretty cool. Uh, it's just a cool shirt. Vibes. Thank you. Hoodie. Vibes. Thank you. Next. This is the sweater Elo is wearing. Vibes. Thank you. Next. Overalls. Vibes. Thank you. Hat. But yeah, this that is a collab hot. with some really cool artists that we did. Sweater, vibes, sweater, vibes, check. Oh, my noble knight. A beautiful, uh, what do you call that? Pug. No, but like the technique, it's like, uh, it's like sewn on a tapestry or some shit. I don't know. Yeah, it's really cool. My noble knight, indeed. Bags, cool ass shirts with a really cool artist whose name escapes me. We'll talk about it more tomorrow. But anyway, tomorrow, 10 a.m. PST, it's all coming out. So thank you to Teddy Fresh. Thank you to Ela. Before we get started, I, there's some things I just need to address. Excuse me, I like a Louis Vuitton bag. What the fuck is this, Zach? You guys got, <laughs> you guys got blitzed by this Tic Tac dude who's like, yo, I love your bag. Uh, tell me what you do for a living or whatever. Yeah. Was this 100% real? 100% real. Because I always assume these guys fake it. I th- th- thought that too until this fucking happened. But look how Chantel like is so weirded out. She, was, she wants nothing to do with him. We're in the adult entertainment business. Oh, okay. What do you guys do exactly? I have... You don't want to know. Oh, excuse me, I like your blend sandwich. Dude, dude, dude. <laughs> you knew that shit was going to end up on the show, didn't you? Honestly, no. I Because th- last time someone stuck a camera in our face, it was when out. We, we were with Jimmy Lee, and, you know, I won't get into it, but I've been on edge since that. So this, Drama. this motherfucker just out of nowhere is like, hey, love your oh, back. Okay, what do you do? Me. You know, like, it, so, like, I'm going into defense mode, and I'm like, okay, is this guy fucking with me? Is he, like, g- being genuine? Like, what is going on? And Chantal didn't like it. <laughs> no, I could tell. But it's not really polite to just slam a camera in someone's face and then be like, you'll tell me everything. Absolutely not. So it's like, all right, 
fuck this guy. Like, just draw him a little bit. Yeah, you got him good. I mean, you made it. You were the first one in. And all the comments are about you, too, which is awesome. <laughs> yeah, shout out to uh, H3 family and all those foot soldiers. By the way, happy birthday, Nick Piper, 30th. Love you for that. <laughs> Live forever, okay? We need you. We need um, you. <laughs> even, even the top comment is people writing for you who don't even know who you are. You don't want to know. Okay, now we really do want to know. So, Zach, now's your chance. Uh, no, I was just trolling with It's the a guy. joke. It yeah, it's a joke. joke. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Although there was, at one point, a significant other of yours. I don't know what you're talking about. Right, 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 right. That never happened. Yeah, Zach was, yeah, no, that never happened. Um, anyway, so congratulations on being featured there. Good times, huh? Good times. <laughs> Is that a bad vibe, what I did? No, you're good, man. It's not fair that I have to forget that app. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not fair. It's not. It's not fair that I have to forget about it. Anyways, I, I, uh, I, somebody I, donated a hundred dollars. 100 smackaroonies for Ian and Zach. Intro is a masterpiece. We got- Wait, I don't even see it on here. Oh, there it comes. Just tell me, I'll send them the money. Uh, okay. you know, just- just write their names down. Y'all need to stop. I pay them, that. just for the record. I do pay them. They do pay them, but it's- it, It's not a good way to do it. Let's just put it that way. But thank you. Thank you. Why don't you guys put your crypto wallets like e-girls? <laughs> right. Or cash right. apps or something. They're also on Cameo. You can support them there. There you That'd go. That's easier for everyone, I think. Yeah, they'll get they'll get five percent of the revenue. <laughs> yeah. Um, thank anyway, you, thank you for the donut. Yeah, thank you very much. Get up. Uh, thank you for the gifted. gifted. Yeah. <laughs> thank you for the gifted. Can you can you shorten it up there, Ian? Your your. Uh... Hello. We have a There's show to do one for Christ's sake. Dip. Get. Dip. They could get. Dip. Dip. Get. A short but decent first time for me. Oh, this one was good actually. So. This is another fucked up edit where they splice the audio together in the just horrific way. This one is not having to do with Disney or Marvel, though. I don't think. No, it's Halloween. So check this out. This one's really good. Universe. It will be difficult to say goodbye to Lori Strode. That one's really good. It would be difficult to it say goodbye to Lori Strode. Goodbye to Lori Strode. Goodbye to Lori Strode. In the Marvel Universe, <laughs> Lori Strode. I don't know why these things tickle me. It, it would be, be difficult, difficult to, to say, say goodbye, goodbye to, to Lori Strode. Strode. <laughs> yeah, shout out. That's it. You know, a little top of the show. Lori Goose. Strode. All right, let's get into this drama because we don't have unlimited time to talk about this. Um, also, Hassan's going to be here tomorrow. Leftovers is back. All right. He... Hassan was in the center about. of all this drama, in the eye of the storm. <laughs> um, so we're gonna have a lot to talk to him about, but I guess it started, I'm gonna try my best here to summarize everything. It started with Mizkif and Pokey making a joint statement telling Twitch to stop, to ban gambling, right? I mean, it's in the wake of this huge scandal we talked about on uh, Monday, this one guy, Slick Slicker, was sending out DMs to fans and fellow streamers asking them for money to feed his gambling addiction. He was lying to them. He was frauding them. Interesting side note, he's still on Twitch, baby. He didn't get, he didn't even get in trouble for that. It's awesome. At least he was as of last night. Let me check again, because I feel like that's got to be coming, but... Yeah, for you guys that don't know, he was just, he, it was like real bottom of the barrel shit. Like he even stole money from a cancer patient who needed it for a procedure. And he's like, yo, I need this money. I'll hit you back. I promise my bank account got, st yeah, he was live two days ago. So shout out to the legend. There you go. Good stuff. No clue why they didn't ban him for that. Bizarre. But anyway, so here, so here's the, the what started this whole uh, drama apocalypse. I would totally, if, if, if someone said, Miz, sign this right now, and we're going to not stream for a whole week, I would say, can we do longer? I would, I would totally be down. <laughs> I'd say, look, I'll take someone else's time, too. I mean, OTK and Pokey alone, you guys could probably move mountains. Yo. And, and if, you got, if you got Asmin on, and Asmin would love a week off, too, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> Yo. I really uh, like the idea of doing it 
Q4 around Christmas too, because that'll hurt the most. Yeah, yeah, it would, because that's when they need the uh, the ads. Yeah. Yeah. So they're talking about staging like a walkout or something where they don't stream for a week to try to uh, pressure Twitch and to ban gambling. It's a good thing. I mean, it's a great thing, right? Here's the thing. Uh, Trainwreck, who's a giant piece of shit, which I'll prove to you guys today, We've talked about him a lot. He is basically, it's Trainwreck and XQC are the main gamblers who work with Stake, which is basically like a unregulated crypto casino located in a sh shack offshore. Super Time shady. Time to invest. And <laughs> That's right. <laughs> anyway, so he his whole livelihood is being threatened. He says, because your pals decided it was in their best interest to use and platform the very person that scammed everyone for his horse racing and tennis bets to somehow twist it and wager the war against me. And we both know deep down why the insecure little man is doing this. So he's going, well, this guy was a gambling addict, but he was doing uh, sports betting. So, so it's got nothing to do with me. I just do slots. Ms. Kiff said, if we're going to deplatform people for scamming others, shouldn't we have banned you for Jolt Coin a few years back? I don't know anything about Jolt Coin, but that seems like a pretty good diss. What was that about? Trainwreck scamming crypto shit? Cer certainly wouldn't surprise me. Well, anyway, this is when it all really gets crazy. Trainwreck responds. Are you going to send Maya and Mitch to railroad and blackmail me like you did those girls to cover up all those sexual assaults, you fucking scumbag piece of shit? You want to come at me and make shit up, then you better be sure you don't live in a glass house, you insecure pussy. Uh-oh. Now, let me ask you guys this. So this, this accusation ended up ballooning into like a huge developing story let me ask you guys this <coughs> is this the right way to bring up this kind of serious allegation like um uh, he's using it in retaliation he's saying because it wasn't even his first response he's like yeah well if you're gonna try to shut down my livelihood then i'm gonna like accuse you of blackmailing someone like he if he cared about it seriously he would have brought it up in a serious setting not like a gotcha to come up over on Mizkiff right I mean this is so fucking tacky in my opinion this is a man that's fighting for his livelihood makes ungod known amounts of millions of dollars a month to hook people to gambling also, he says, he says to him, you don't live in a glass house. So he's like, you know, that metaphor is like, if you live in a glass house, don't throw stones. And so he's, he's saying straight up, um, if you talk shit about me, I'll break your house. So he's saying up front, it's a retaliatory statement. Now, I'm not speaking to the validity of what he's saying, which we'll get into, obviously, but I'm just saying super scummy in my opinion that was my initial thought and it's still what i think about train wreck is that the way he brought this up was like super fucked up again not question that has nothing to do with the validity of of what he's saying it's something we'll continue to discuss but am i wrong like the way he brought that up was just so fucking insane yeah defle i mean it's just a crazy deflection i'm sorry like I know people were debating. If, if, how, how is it even debatable? The way he brought this up was so fucked up. I'm sorry. It just is. Like, well, you can't argue with how effective it was because immediately this became the entire conversation and not the gambling anymore. So mission accomplished, I guess. It worked. Everyone's saying, Ethan, you have no idea what you're talking about. I'm sorry. This is not the way you bring up serious allegations. If he was serious about it, he should have done it in a serious way. I'm sorry. Like, again, not talking about the validity, but this is super scummy of him. 
I'm not gonna let him act like he's the fucking good guy because he weaponized some really serious shit in a moment to deflect against his gambling, gambling scandal. Now we can get into the validity of it, but I feel like I'm mental, bro. I'm mental. Because people are defending him. And the fact that it's effective is like, who gives a fuck? I mean, that's that's a separate conversation. Also, you're you're implying that he's playing like 5D chess, like he knew that all of a sudden people were going to care about this. That's not what happened. You could tell he did this emotionally. He did it angrily. This wasn't calculated. He just did a fucked up thing. He goes, you scumbag piece of shit. If you want to come at me, then I'm going to come at you like, you know, this isn't this isn't a delicately put, a well thought out statement. This is emotional and angry. He goes, if you're gonna come at me, then I'm gonna come at you, you insecure pussy. I'm sorry, but train wreck. I'm not gonna let him be the good guy uh, for bringing it up like this. I mean, this is just fucking insane. Sorry, it is. And like, there's just there's been this online dialogue about like. So, oh, uh, uh, tr what Train did was like, he's the man, and he brought this up because Trainwreck and XQC started going after Pokey and Hassan because they weren't taking it serious enough. I'm telling you, I'm gonna get into it, but it was so fucked up, I'm telling you guys. Trainwreck is such a scumbag, and I'm gonna t show you guys exactly how. So just remember that this idiot broke the news like this, and I really don't care what anyone else says. The victim is on Trainwreck's side. She says it's fine the way he did it, that's okay, right? Like, she's welcome to have that opinion. My opinion is, I'm not questioning the validity of, of whatever she said happened. She's welcome to have an opinion, and so am I. And my opinion is, okay, this is not, this is fucked up. He obviously did this emotionally. He obviously did this retaliatory. He, this wasn't a calculated move. I'm sorry. I'm not going to pretend like it is and walk on eggshells because somehow people are going to misconstrue me saying train wreck's a piece of shit with me questioning the validity because the victim thinks it was fine the way he did it. That's fine. We're all, she's entitled to have her opinion. I'm not questioning the validity. I'm just saying train wreck's a piece of shit and this was fucked up. Thank you. Let's move on. All right. So that happened. Um, so after he tweeted this, it was revealed that Ms. Kiff's roommate, Crazy Slick, and a streamer named Adriana, the story was that Adriana was at their house, the OTK house. He's got like a streaming clan. Can I call it a clan or is that like antiquated? It's a little boomer. That's what Although face, cl face, face clan. clan, they're yeah. still around. That's what I call it. We we rolled in clans. It bro. was always clans back yeah. in the day. I, I yeah, I guess they're just to be super detailed. That is not the OTK house. It's oh, just okay. his house, and okay. the people living there are not all in OTK. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, That's, yeah. Um, so it was revealed that Ms. Kiff's good buddy and roommate's crazy slick. He went in to check on this girl Adriana when she was drunk and passed out. He went in to check on her, and then he actually groped her instead. And I've learned about this guy, Crazy Slick, that he's like a real nasty fucking dude with lots of accusations against him. So, like, 100% believe that's what happened. And especially when you look at who this guy is. There's like a whole thread of people talking about what a creep he is. Dirty Dom vibes. Total dirty Dom vibes. And what's fucked up about it, because I definitely side, I'm on her side all the way, right? She put it together a thread with like all these other girls sending DMs and sharing their stories about him. It's like endless, which if you're interested is there. I read through it and I was like, man, this guy fucking sucks. And so as I understand it, at the time, apparently this was, I don't know how long ago, um, one of, uh, Adriana's friends said that someone at that house uh, had assaulted her. And then when it became public and people started under being like, yo, what the fuck? You guys need to talk about this. Um, Ms. Kiff and his girlfriend. Girlfriend at the time. Girlfriend at the time. Mm -hmm. Went to her. And basically said, like, yo, uh, what what happened here? Is this, uh, like, 
sexual assault or what. And she, I think, felt pressured or coerced to say basically that uh, nothing happened. She's a small streamer. They're massive streamers. They're friends. Not that nothing happened, but to downplay it, yeah, to it, say that it wasn't, a, it didn't necessarily rise to the level of assault, which she no longer feels that way. And uh, I guess didn't feel that way at the time and felt pressured to frame it that way. El Beta, Ethan, what's up, Tater Tots? I hate women, man. Fuck, man, women suck. Love you, Tater Tots. Police sub. <laughs> anyway, no! sorry, I was talking to TikTok. It's all a bunch of Tater Tots. Thank you. Shut up. Yeah, and, and even Maya Miskiff's ex-girlfriend, who's being accused, she put out a video saying, like, when she said that she didn't think she was assaulted, Maya said specifically, well, then include that in your statement. And I can see her interpreting that as, like, uh, coercion or pressure that made her uncomfortable, right? Well, it came out, I guess, that uh, she does feel like she was assaulted, and basically he did grope her. Now she's saying, okay? Um, here's the original statement she made in 2020-12. I don't know. Yeah, here's a twit longer. She says uh, basically that... Um, it didn't rise to, uh, she says here, just to paraphrase, to be clear, he did not R-word me or assault me, but his actions did make me uncomfortable. So I can see her point when she's like, it may, this dude made me really uncomfortable. And then Maya's like, say it was not assault and the thing. So I totally get, uh, where she felt pressured. Here's a clip describing how she said she felt pressured. Besides the point. My point was, Maya was like, um, I just don't think you should say anything at all. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? I, like, or she said I should say something anonymously. Or whatever. And I was like, no. Or, or I should say it wasn't that big of a deal and I'm over it now. And I was like, listen, I'm going to be true to myself. I'll make Slick look good like, like an angel because I did. In the tweet longer, if anybody ever bothered to read it, because a lot of people didn't, um, I make Slick look like an angel. I'm like, hey. It's whatever. This may be uncomfortable, but it's whatever. Even though I, I was upset with it, I just you know, I came to a yeah, so even point with Maya because Maya. Was it like, seems you know, like there was you know, some some pressure, direct or indirect, of of people wanting her to downplay it for the sake of their friend, their roommate. I don't know if they had business relations with him. So yeah, that sh that sh that shit happened for sure. Um, <clears throat> Net, then the worst part comes when there's this old clip of Mizkiff talking about it. And Mizkiff, if you guys, he's one of the biggest streamers on the platform, right? I mean, he's a he's like connected with everyone. He's a big deal, right, Love? Yes. Yeah, he is. Yeah. And he's like the founder of OTK, which is this big gamer one gaming off, yeah. conglomerate. So someone found this old clip of Mizkiff after the story broke, and it was pretty foul what he says here. So let let's listen. He hates that there's a narrative about him being creepy. I, it, yeah, that sucks. I told him, I'm like, look, <clears throat> you didn't rape anybody, you know? It's one thing, I, I feel like, I mean, like, he didn't do anything. He didn't. Very dystopian watching this World of Warcraft. I know, uh, I know. And, like the lion jumping make around. It seem like he did. It's so fucking weird. <laughs> this is Twitch for you, man. This is entertainment. <laughs> like, fuck. When people, like, think of it, they think that he stuck his fucking dick inside her without her consent. And I'm like, that's what people perceive it as. When they don't. People probably don't even know the situation. No, it's not... It's not 90% of people. Look, I don't think there's a single person that we used to hang out with that doesn't hang out with Slick anymore because of what happened. I actually think there's literally none. Because the reality is, worst comes to worst of it, it's fucking, like, sexual harassment, right? I mean, like, who... Like... No one, it, 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 of what you can deem of it, it's sexual se harassment, whatever. At a low scale, it's not really a big deal. I don't think people really gave a shit. 
and really cared. Ja, I'm going to turn this off if you're going to be like this. I'll just yeah, turn it so- off. I mean, obviously, <laughs> it sounds so Pretty bad. bad. Yeah. It's Pretty just fucking sexual bad. assault at a low scale. Nobody gives a shit. Nobody cares. Thing. Well, even, yeah, nobody cared. Even past tense, like, this is... Oh, this, is <laughs> this was in, news. I guess, 2019 or something. No, uh, oh, maybe. Or I don't know. Uh, I know it was recent. It's in 20, uh, 2012, which is what you said earlier. 20? 20, 20, 2021. You, you meant to say 2021. <laughs> you said 2012. I did? Yeah, mm-hmm. it's been. When did I say that? A few minutes ago. Hey, yeah, yeah. Go to Joe. Three o three three o. Did it make anyone uncomfortable, by the way? And I don't know. I, I'm sure this is maybe just a semantical thing, but when he said it's not like he put his penis in, or he, what did, how did he phrase it? Was, it? it was graphic in a way it didn't have to be. Yeah, yeah. it made me really. It's like yeah. he's not like he forced his penis into her vagina or something. And it, I don't know. It just made me feel yeah. kind of gross. Don't but. talk about. Don't talk about it. Yeah, don't talk about don't it talk like, about like that. Like you know, in graphic yeah. detail. But there it is. Okay, whatever. <sighs> so that happened. So this thing is brewing, man. And let's remember, this all started because Ms. Kiff and Pokey were trying to put some support together for a protest against Twitch gambling. Train wreck, probably is the single mo- biggest beneficiary of Twitch gambling. And then all all of a sudden, he turned this into a conversation about m- how Ms. Kiff covered up low-scale sexual harassment. I love that. That's like my new fave. It's just low-scale sexual harassment, bro. Yikes. It's on a low scale. Um... What is low scale sex harassment? Like breathe on her boobs? Then touch, but just breathed on. No, oh, right. Maybe let's not even think about it, huh? Oh, there it is. That's low scale sexual harassment right there. So, um, and then Ice Poseidon, this guy's a fucking idiot too, man. I guess Ms. Kiff used to cruise with them, and then Ice Poseidon posted like screenshots of him saying that. I think we could. Well, oh yeah, late. Yeah, yeah. He he used to be Ice Poseidon's camera man. This is from like 2018. He's like, Ms. Kiff, I brought you into this world. Now I'm taking you out. And he posted like screenshots of him saying like the N word and DMs and stuff, which is like, I get that that's fucked up, obviously. But Ice Poseidon is like such a douche. Come on, bro. Like everyone's just dot. You know, eh, talk about disingenuous criticism coming from him. Like he doesn't care that he said the N word. He just you mean knows. Ice Poseidon doesn't care that he's Ice that. Poseidon doesn't care at all. Right. It's like he just knows that there's people out there that do care. It's disingenuous criticism, but okay. I mean, obviously that's fucked up. It seems to me that he's kind of whatever. So yeah, that happened. Um, <clears throat> so Maya responded. Uh, Ms. Kiff responded. I want to get to the point where... XQC and Trainwreck start debating shit with Hassan. So here, now that the conversation is off gambling and onto this essay cover-up, here's Train and XQC tap dancing on his grave, uh, rejoicing that this man who was once trying to stop gambling, which is a great thing, is now the conversation has totally shifted. By, there's an, by that reasoning, change should be also be called for nice thing before. Probably no good side. <coughs> and then they should detail about the case and say only release. Um, just t- this is like a timing thing. I don't know why people are getting so caught up about that. I don't know why people are so caught up. Exchange are weaponizing this. Bro, that, that, bro, it's a it's a weapon. Like, what the fuck? It's not a weapon. Like, it's her story that should be taken seriously. When you use it as a weapon, you delegitimize it to an extent because because it's its own story. It's not you. It becomes a subplot yeah. and as a fucking cudgel. Yeah, when that, you right. weaponize it for yourself, you're taking that narrative away from her. Like, I don't. I don't. Now I don't, all of these people talking like it's 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 all men talking about someone else's circumstance that is 
probably feels so singular and like so painful. And the way train he trained brought it up to serve his own interest. Yeah. He didn't bring it up as an act of altruism. That's that's this is what I'm getting at. Like now she says uh, she's friendly with them. She's they've all been on calls together. Him and Train have been on calls scheming. And she says, you know, don't. She's been saying for the record not to give Train an XQC shit and that she supports the way they did it. Yeah. Again, I'm not questioning the well, validity of her claims. I believe her, but I disagree. Yeah, I think it's because nobody listened to her last time. <clears throat> and so these people are willing to help her because everybody left her in the dark before. Right. And this is the time that they're helping her. So obviously, yeah, I totally, <clears throat> I totally get that. Yeah, that's, but a, it's, that's a great point. Yeah. I, I'm free to make my own interpretation without questioning the validity of her claims. Again, yeah. I believe her. Of course. But they used it as a weapon to serve their own interests. Obviously. Like, let's not fucking pretend that's not what happened here. Well, in their own words. He I literally hope. said. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And let me back it up here because they go on to debate Hassan and Pokey, which I think is great. And I just want everyone to know what XQC said about it. Yeah, should you tell about the case and say only release? Um... <laughs> Just tie, this is like a timing thing. I don't know why people are getting so caught up about that. Why are you guys so caught up? I don't know why people are so caught up. Exchange, you're not weaponizing this. Bro, that, that, bro it's, a, it's a weapon. Like, what the fuck? Are you serious? It's a weapon. It, 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 you don't just put that in the vault and wait until it's opportunistic for you to use it. Like, do you not understand that's fucked up? I mean, I'm like in crazy world. He, he says there's more too, but he's going to hold it for another day. Great. Perfect. What yeah. a guy. There's more, <laughs> yeah, but guy. I'm just holding it over these guys so they don't ever come at me again. That's yeah. exactly the perfect way to handle uh, a serious story with serious ramifications that you obviously care about. Yeah, yeah. He's like, bro, I'm a huge dude. I support her, man. Her story means everything. Uh, there's a lot more. I'm going to save it to keep you guys in check. Super, uh, super genuine. Saving information for the most opportune time. Uh, get the most value out of it. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, that's what we did. What about it? Yeah, you're right. We were saving the Trump card for a rainy day. It got. It's not a Trump card, bro. This is he's 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 and he's giving it away. He's giving the whole game away. It's scum, dude. Rainy came out. Okay. And, and, and what's the rain, by the way? Them trying to get gambling banned on Twitch. That's the rainy day. That's the rainy day. You get that? Yeah. Somebody in the chat just said, wasn't this story about gambling, LOL? Exactly. And that's exactly the point. It is now, it's not. Mission accomplished. It, that was the rainy day. Right. right. And so, again, I have to untangle all of this to talk about it. But I do think it's important to untangle it because Trainwreck and XUC did such a good job at at throwing mud on this situation and obfuscating the, the facts of everything that I do think that it's worth, I feel passionate about untangling this to the point where we can separate the two incidences and really see what Trainwreck and XQC did, all in the interest, by the way, of keeping gambling allowed on twitch that's what they're fighting for guys the valiant fight to allow gambling slot machines on twitch my friends stand up for what you believe in somebody somebody got outed as a deviant who does weird shit and who continued continued from what i've seen in the logs and on discord who continued to be a weirdo okay and we, there was an opportunity and it happened. Why the fuck are you so fucking mauled about? Dude, you're such Admitting a piece. it? So I'm sorry, but I didn't like XQC or Trainwreck, but after this, I genuinely feel that these two dudes are fucking terrible people. Really terrible. Really terrible people. I mean, this is nuts to, to actually just say that. And there's actually just so much more. So there's that. Okay, now this is, this is what's really weird. Is that Hassan and uh, Pokey were also working to get 
gambling banned. And so they start getting a lot of shit because, get this, they didn't react appropriately to Trainwreck's tweet. Now let me show you what it is uh, that they're being criticized for, okay? Are you going to send Maya and Mitch to railroad and blackmail me like you did what? those girls to cover up those sexual assaults, you fucking scumbag piece of shit? You want to come at me and make fuck? shit up, then you better be... Sure, you don't live in a glass house, you insecure, but I'm lost. I don't even, holy shit. Are you going to send Maya and Mitch to railroad and black man like, dude, all those girls cover up those sexual assaults, you fucking Wait, what does it mean to You want to come at me and make shit him. up, then you better be sure you don't live in a glass house, you insecure pussy. I literally just read it. <laughs> what does it mean to railroad him? I don't know. What the fuck? Now, to further muddy the water, XQC and train wreck managed to get them on a call and accused them of not believing the victim and not taking this accusation serious enough when they read it when by the way it's of course train wreck's fault a hundred percent that nobody takes it seriously because of the way that he introduced it it's confusing it's vague it's brought up in a retaliatory nature and they managed to get these guys on the back foot, once again, moving the conversation off gambling and, 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 and actually forcing them, in, in a sense, to apologize for not taking the accusation more seriously. When, of course, it is 100% train wreck's fault if anybody read this and didn't take it seriously. By the way, it's not that they didn't even take it seriously. They're just shocked. And how the fuck else are you supposed to respond without any context? Brought up like this, like even the way he words it, it makes it sound like Ms. Kiff was the one who was sexually assaulting people. Mm, mm -hmm. So like it's even further like confusing the situation, which I think he later clarified in a later tweet. But their reaction, just reading this initial tweet, they're understandably confused because he's talking about it as if this was like some known thing. Um, it's and when it's not really clear what. Also, it just comes out of nowhere. They're here. talking about gambling, right? And then Train's like, oh, well you, well, you live in a glass house, so fuck you, bitch. Remember when you covered up? It's like, dude, um, how else are they supposed to respond? The whole effort by Trainwreck and XQC is 100% in bad faith. They are weaponizing a really serious story of SA, and they're actually weaponizing that against Hassan and Pokey, who actually care about a good thing, which is banning gambling on Twitch. Mm -hmm. They managed to turn a lot of people against them and to literally force them in the corner to apologize for this clip. When really it's train wreck they should be apologizing for this fucking pure scumbag move. Pure. Scum. Scum, bro. The dude, the dude is scum. Uh, we'll get into all that, yeah, further. Now, and let me put it this way. If there was like a serious post Maybe they did it in in uh, conjunction where trains like yo I'm with my friend Adriana and we want to talk about this serious thing Hassan is gonna take that absolutely seriously Pokey's gonna take that absolutely seriously So how fucking dare you guys accuse them who by the way are excellent advocates Let's not even pretend like Hassan's like a shitty dude and doesn't care about fucking like uh, women coming forward I mean these these are good advocates like who the fuck are you bitch now all of a sudden you care has train ever spoken up about this The only thing you care about is making fucking money Selling gambling on Twitch, you liar, bitch, <laughs> scum. Despise that, man, dude. Such a bad faith punk, dude. The whole time I was just pulling my hair out because, like, the whole thing made no sense how it twisted against Pokey and Hassan. So we're going to continue now. Um, so people start calling out them for ha not having a strong enough a re reaction. Here's XQC celebrating because Hassan is getting heat for not reacting strong enough to the tweet that XQC said, quote, was weaponized. Yo! Hey, Hassan, isn't that the guy when he heard the news about him coming out? He started to downplay it because he thought the public opinion was going to... He did not downplay it, you fucking liar. Gonna back him up. Where did he back? Where did he's, he? Where did he put downplay it? He's a fucking liar. Didn't happen. Literally didn't happen. I started backpedaling 
and started going with what we thought was going to be public opinion because he had no knowledge of the situation and it got absolutely smoked. Oh, he didn't downplay it. Okay. Did he really investigate and did he really inquire? Investigate? About inquire? The situation? It's like, bro, what do you expect? Like, I think this happened just after this was all happening at the same time, right? Um, scum dude i'm telling you man these guys i'm um, somehow i don't know how it works but these two guys who are advocating for gambling are just don't seem like good dudes it's just so weird how that happens you know i don't think xqc is a good dude either I'm just sorry I'm just gonna say that um Excuse, here's a collection of his comments around the time when people were calling out Hassan and Pokemon, which seems so insane to me. So this is his chat log? What does that mean, love? I, I was confused by that. I'm not actually really sure. I, I can guess a, that it's just offline chats. Yes, it's a, it's a Twitter bot that somebody set up to basically just post what he says in his chat when he's not live. Okay, so there's like a chat room when he's not live. Yeah, on Twitch, even when you're not live on your channel, there you can still be in the chat. People are saying LQC. I like that. LQC, baby. Remember when I said end times? Yeah, I was talking to Train on Discord. So again, they're colluding behind the scenes to try to change the subject in a super bad faith way. I was just on a call with Train. They're loving it, right? They're loving it. How serious can they be taking these allegations if they're pay pay laughing on Discord together? Imagine still defending cover ups of crimes that never happen. Unless you can show that happening, that clip does not show that happening at all. Finally, finally, ha ha ha. Also, they keep talking about how they're such advocates for the victims. He literally titled the stream Drama End Times Season Finale Extended Cut Director's Cut Premium Version Double Down Double Double Platinum Rated IMDb World Renders Wow. This is not a guy. This is a man who is treating it like a circus. And by the way, he did have the most views on Twitch. He had like 200,000 viewers. So this was a circus that him and his friend Train created. They greatly benefited from it, and somehow um, Hassan's the bad guy for not reacting uh, hard enough. Hard enough, yeah. Well, I don't or know what he expected. He's like, "Oh my god, what?" Like he, he, he fuck you, bitch. Moving on. Okay, and so uh, on top of oh now now here we go now we get in some good shit. Remember how I said Trainwreck's the biggest piece of shit? scumbag check this fucking shit out you know we were talking just on wednesday how like it just doesn't make sense that twitch isn't banning gambling and dan said something about like are they being paid off you know and i was like it just seems so outlandish i mean i was only half serious <coughs> i was more just making the point that like the longer this goes on it's hard like Conspiracy theories like that are going to start coming out because there is no logical explanation for why they haven't acted. Yeah, so Austin Ox is actually Hassan's uh, editor, shout out, pulled a clip of Trainwreck playing on stake, talking to Twitch employees in his chat, and sending them $50,000. Just because. Just to butter the beak, bro. Train wreck. This is fucking nuts. This blew my ass open. Watch this. Okay. I think we're good. Let's get back to this and let's wrap it up and then I'll just gamble some more because I'm a degenerate. <laughs> hey, getting that third win. Joe, I got you on your 50 still on trip. Don't worry about it, baby. Cool. Remy, I'll take care of you too, bro. I'm in trip, man. I got you. Papega Fish, are you kidding me, bro? Realm, is, is that you on two staff accounts, bro? Papega Fish comes in, I give him 50k, leaves. Now, you can see he clicks his profile here. Papega Fish, video platform developer at Twitch. He's an employee. Papega and also, employees get a special, like, icon, right, love? So, 
Yeah. So he sees them in chat, which is interesting because it's like rife for corruption. But here, uh, right in front of your eyes, this is how confident he is. Fish comes in, I give him 50K, he leaves. You can't even stay for fucking five more minutes. Jesus Christ. Oh, he said no one's ever sent him anything. Collecting the. Uh, oh, no shot. I love that. Yo, no one has ever sent me anything before. Oh, Rello, that's so fucking cute, bro. I fuck with that. Yeah, for real. That's love, baby. That's real fuck. That's, I love that, bro. Mm -hmm. No one has ever sent me anything before. That That is the sweetest, most sad thing ever, isn't it? This whole conversation is mind-bending to me. Yeah, nobody's ever sent me 50k before just like that either. Is that sweet and sad? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> you really trying to turn this into some heartwarming story about corruption? You just sent $50,000, like, nothing at all to a Twitch and fucking ploy, dude. Can y'all believe this shit? People are saying audio. Because of the music that was playing in the background? I think oh. it's okay. I think it'll be all right. It was really oh, yeah, it's just kind of background shit. Can you guys believe this? This is so corrupt. And right on display, man, I'm telling you, this guy is absolute scum. He is really fucked up. That is so sweet, bro. That is just beautiful, man. Nobody's ever given you 50K before for nothing. Fuck, dude. 50. Yeah, that yeah. is sweet and sad. It's That's so sweet. really sweet and sad. It's Hope so he's... sad, bro. It's so sad. Mm. Yeah, really sad. I feel so bad for this program developer at Twitch who probably makes like $200,000 a year. Nobody's ever given me anything before. Really, bitch? He's not like a hustler, because I'm going to send him some more. Yo, take 30,000. Mm. Look, then you can see who goes to his crypto wallet, sends him another 15,000. That's, by the way, in site balance, which is pretty funny, too. Wait, what, what does that mean? It's stake balance. <laughs> <gasps> He's sending him stake money. I, or maybe he, he's withdrawing. Maybe I'm wrong. It I says withdraw. It I mean, here it says withdraw. Okay, so he's Oh, yeah, so he's okay. sending out of his stake wallet to this Bitcoin address $15,000 in Bitcoin. All right. Yes, dude. Yes, this is totally fucking legit. Can you imagine, man? This is nuts. This is nuts. Any YouTube employees in the chat? I ain't giving you shit! What the fuck you done for me lately? <laughs> You got to do a lot more for me if you want my cheddar. Yeah, this is just a straight up bribe, kickback, corruption. It's just insane. Take 30,000 altogether. Dub. I sent you two fifteen thousand, two fifteen thousands, baby. That's 30 G's, Relum. Do whatever you want with that. You know what I'm saying? If you want to walk into your uh, the office and tell your boss to suck your, you know what I mean, fuck off, this is the time. <laughs> just kidding. Don't do that. Don't do that. For yeah. Uh, uh, he gets this god complex too, I've noticed. The way he just hands out money to people because, again, Stake is paying him like $5 million a month. I mean, th you know, it's all ill gotten money. It's blood money. So there's that. That one really blew my ass off. And then I think shortly after that came to light, Twitch finally. And this is all happening at the same time on the same day within like a three hour window. Uh, finally banned gambling on Twitch. This happened finally live when everyone was talking about it. And again, I truly think that it was that clip of train bribing Twitch employees that scared them fucking silly. Uh, you know, cause then all of a sudden they're culpable, right? It's like, okay, let me look a little bit in, more into this. Like, y'all are getting paid for this? Okay, interesting. Tell me more. So here they said, gambling content on Twitch has been a big topic of discussion. Today we update our plans. Uh, while we prohibit sharing links and referral codes to sites. Yo, what? They prohibited that? Because Train was acting like he was a good guy for not showing his referral code on screen. Anyway, they say October 18th, we are prohibiting gambling sites that include slots, roulettes, dice games that aren't licensed in the, either the United States or other jurisdictions that provide sufficient consumer protection. These sites will include stake.com, rollbet, dualbet, rubet.com. We may identify more as they go forward. 
hmm. will continue to allow uh, websites to focus on sporting, bet, sports betting, uh, fantasy sports, and poker. So, I'm correct me if I'm wrong, but does this include Shaq's and Curacao? Is that that's not legit, huh? Uh, <laughs> apparently not. Apparently not. Because they said they said either the United States or other jurisdictions that provide uh, a sufficient consumer protection. So that doesn't include a Shaq and Curacao. <laughs> So, what, what, which, which thing do you think got them to finally move on this? Was it train? The, you think it was train? It was train bribing a clip you, of train paying off Twitch employees. So you think it was that? Without a doubt. Okay. It happened right after. Without a doubt, because it involved. It, but all, I mean, all of this happened within a very short period of time. There was also the guy who scammed a bunch that of viewers. Happened, and other, like, that was already old news, bro. I mean, like two days ago. They did this right during the controversy. Right. The okay. thing is, when there's... I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying that there are a few them, things that it could have been. Dude, Twitch could be fucked if investigators find out that their employees mm -hmm. are getting paid off. With if this is what's happening on money, yeah. stream... By the way, this is happening on stream. Right. It's happening off stream. This is like the tip of the iceberg. He's paying Twitch employees. That's it. Yeah, dude. That's a bad, bad look for Twitch. Um, yeah, so here, by the way, a uh, bad news for Steak. Drake is really out of a big sponsorship, too, man. Steak Hut replacement proposal. Yeah, this is so sad. This is their hut in Curacao. Drake! 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 Everything must go! Yeah, they're, they're going out of business, so I think they're selling a water cooler mm -hmm. and uh, one PC from 1997 and a fax machine, if anybody's looking for a... Uh, also, I heard that uh, come October, they're going to be actually selling Halloween supplies, a seasonal, a seasonal shopping experience. <laughs> then comes spring. Shake Shack obviously is making moves, taking over. So uh, residents of Curacao have that to look forward to. Shake Love Shack. Shake Shack. That's good. And finally, just burning it down for uh, insurance fraud. Yeah, just, just burning it down after that. So. It's worth more burn than sitting there, right? So, burn. So, burn. Um, <laughs> uh, moving it to ground zero, uh, to remembrance of national tragedy, turn it into a gambling addiction rehabilitation center. Yeah, I like just burn it. Collect the uh, the insurance on that. There, guys at stake. You know. I have all my favorite moments, by the way, of people finding out that uh, gambling was banned. And all the coping and seething that happens afterwards. Trainwreck actually tweeted this today. At 12, he said, the inc Oh, this is two hours ago. The inconsistency not to ban sports betting is corruption. Bitch, aren't you the one paying off Twitch employees? Shut the fuck up about corruption. Such a liar, dude. This guy's the worst. Considering the fact that you have your hands in 13 billion NFL deal cookie jar and the fact that you virtue signal streamers act like you care about gambling are silent oh my god the market more prevalent they literally said if you are working with a u.s casino that can prove that they have sufficient consumer protection then you can work with them dude you're talking about like massive businesses located in the united states it's not the same bitch you're working with the offshore crypto casinos shady as fuck stop everything you do is bad faith Right? I mean, I think that they should ban the sports betting too, frankly. I, I don't disagree with him idea. on that. But he's like, yeah, no, I agree. Gam ban all the gambling. Yeah, right? I mean, so. it's it's a website for, for babies. It's Twitch. And they don't need to have gambling on it. Do they have a partnership with NFL? I didn't know that. So Amazon does, is what he's talking Oh, so. And, and yeah, Wait, the NFL is very... Work? Oh, because they just sponsor them. No, the NFL is now broadcasting games on, on Prime. How does that... It's because it's all one big company. He's just saying. Yeah, but how does them sp working with the NFL have to do with sports betting? Because the NFL is heavily involved in all that sports betting stuff. Yeah, but so how is that sponsor. Twitch? Is, that's got nothing to do with Twitch. He's saying they didn't ban the sports betting because the parent company is working closely with the NFL, which explicitly endorses. Dude, this man's tied betting. himself up into a pretzel trying to be like, you need to ban every form of gambling in the whole world before you talk about me playing an unregulated offshore crypto casinos. Like, yeah, I mean, it's true the that they're not comparable. I, I personally think that they shouldn't allow either, 
But you're right. I mean, there are degrees of this, and the offshore crypto casinos is definitely not as by far the worst as like DraftKings or something like that. And Trainwreck and XQC, their whole debate has been reliant on bad faith arguments. And just another bad faith argument and logical fallacy is that all forms of gambling are equally bad. When everybody knows that Stake.com, located in a shack in Curacao, that you, forces you to play with untraceable fucking crypto, is a billion times worse than DraftKings, which is a U.S.-based company, well-regulated with oversight that pays taxes and shit, working with the NFL. Like, shut the fuck up, idiot, bitch. <laughs> I despise him. He is such scum. Yeah, I picked up on it. An idiot. He really is such a scumbag. Uh, he continues on. Also, I, I just need to point out, both him and XUC, I, I remember even last year, he was, when he got into the argument on a call with you, Yeah. Um, his favorite go-to thing is, is virtue signaling. <laughs> he hates virtue signaling. Yeah, he says that a lot. And, and you hear it a lot from, from people like him, that you know, nobody, nobody actually cares about these things, they're just virtue signaling. I just find it a little ironic that, as we were just talking about, the whole throwing out this girl's essay allegations as a way to deflect and pretending like he cares about that. That is the most textbook definition of virtue signaling you could possibly come up with. Like there, there is no clear example of virtue signaling. He does not care that this girl got assaulted. He only cared because he was able to benefit from To weaponize from it. it. He, he that's, greatly that's benefited from her story. Textbook. Dude, he literally benefited so much from her story. Yes. Like, doesn't that make anyone else uncomfortable that he, he benefited from this story? Like, let's just, be, let's just say that as it is. He used it in a way and said it even, XQC said it, to benefit them. And then he's got the balls to go and accuse Pokimane and Hassan of not reacting hard enough. I'm sorry, I just got, I have no respect for this man. He's ultimate scum. Yeah. Uh, he keeps going. He said, banning other forms of gambling while keeping the most prevalent form of it gets them paid as a fucking joke and a mistake. Instead, they should have banned the people who do it wrong and in predatory, non-transparent fashion. Okay, good. So ban you. Actually, that's kind of what they did. They banned all the unregulated offshore crypto casinos. That's literally what they did. Yeah, and I mean, if he wants to make the argument that they should ban all of the other stuff too, he's Let's welcome go. to make. Let's go. You want to spearhead that movement? I'm right behind you, buddy. <laughs> right. Yeah. Or maybe he's just virtue signaling that he cares when he doesn't. Yo, train wreck. Let's lead the revolution, baby. No gambling. Be you can be my leader. But yeah, like you said, I mean, there there is definitely a difference between DraftKings and Stake. Yeah, and then on the it's a level. huge, so, and, and, and again, it's just oh, it's no, a bad get... faith to, to even compare them. It's like there are levels to everything. Hassan is debating XQC when it comes down, and this is probably the most priceless reaction. XQC, who is a giant stooge piece of shit fucking cuck to gambling, who literally said they weaponized the news to benefit themselves, watch this. In a policy update on October 18th, I'm doing a mogul mail right now. Boys, <laughs> the plan <laughs> is simple. All right, I don't do that. Yeah, Damn. so we'll be making a policy Here update on October 18th to prohibit streaming of gambling sites that include slots, roulette, or dice games that aren't licensed either in the U.S. or other <laughs> jurisdictions that provide sufficient consumer protection. These sites will include stake.com, rollbit.com, dualbits.com, and rubet.com. However, we may identify others as we move forward. Rubet, rip. Rip the milk, oh, boys. Shit, you know, we can actually yeah. half send Holy. moment. Holy, you know, listen, listen. Let's you, this. You, you guys, you guys know that was against it the whole time, right? This motherfucker <laughs> has the balls to say, and and he was the guy who was just screaming about Hassan saying he backpedaled when when he thought public opinion would back him up. This fucking hypocrite <laughs> literally just said, "You guys know I was against this the whole time." What? Uh, Ludwig does a good job of dunking on him in the aftermath of that mind-numbingly pathetic statement. Yeah, I know you're against it, but then you would just still do it greedily. <laughs> but I, I knew that you were morally against it, but I think it's funny to be morally against it and still do it. I think it's hilarious that you did a scam <laughs> on $1.5 $1. $1. $1. $1 million <laughs> the minute you were also tweeting out to pay people back. I think it's it's funny and ironic, but in a, in what a sad, scary way. <laughs> that you, you uh, When you were tweeting about paying everybody back who got scammed, you did a slot 
Spin in one 1.5. You're doing it right now, you son of a bitch. All right, you you get you keep these fucking 28 days left. You maximize, baby. Then you're done for. 28 days. Oh under. my fucking lord, yeah, dude. Yeah, I mean these guys are just shameless, and somehow they actually convince people to support them, which is really shocking. Because like I said, he actually had them on the back pedal apologizing, and it was just really making me my head spin. There's one more, Karina Conf, uh, who is, no, of course, have literal gaming uh, working with Steak, because why not? She's, you know. No, Twitch was- People have literal gaming addictions. <laughs> no, that's what I said last night. People that's literally are addicted to sitting on their computer. Dude, people have fucking people tic are addicted TikTok, to TikTok addictions. People literally sit on their computer all fucking day long. And fucking, dude. I mean, you can be addicted to fucking anything. It's just- Whatever. That's her response. The what about is it's just incredible. I mean, you guys are just so desperate to defend the bag that you're you're from you're defending fucking scumbag criminal stake. I mean, these guys are the worst of the worst. Uh so um here's train wreck uh leaving chat. It's like fucked up that you did this. It's wrong that you did this. Something that you also personally recognize. I literally used that term on purpose. Just like I also accounted for uh, for, for additional underlying uh, uh, reasons as to why you may or may not be going. When I said, I'm sure there's more to it. And I didn't even fucking know that there was more to it at the time. I just suspected it. And the reason is this, why- Is this right before the, reason why the news breaks? Or is this a good timestamp? I don't uh, know. I'm not sure. I didn't timestamp. All right. Well, anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, you know, the whole thing was just so gross. It made me so sick. You know, in short, it's good that the essay allegations came forward. I'm glad that 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 the girl that happened to was able to get some like relief and closure. I'm also glad that 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 disgusting freak. Slick, who has a history of of doing this stuff, is known to be that. I think it's also separately disgusting how XQC and Trainwreck manage themselves during all this. Honestly, honestly, unforget. I mean, just irredeemably gross. And I think Hassan and Pokey were in the right the whole time. They did nothing wrong. And uh, I'm just glad that Twitch banned gambling finally. So, sucks to be any of these fucking idiots whose tit is off. And I just can't wait for Trainwreck, by the way. He goes, I do this for love of the game. If I wasn't being paid, I'd be doing this every day. I'm down millions and millions and millions of dollars. I can't wait for Trainwreck to keep playing stake like he says he will after the ban is up. So, if, if what Trainwreck said is true, he's going to go broke. In a couple months, because this he does it for love of the game, and it doesn't matter that they're paying him. So, we got to check with Trainwreck to make sure he's still gambling on stake after they stop paying him. <laughs> you think um, he'll just switch to sports betting or something? I mean, I guess nobody's going to watch that. Well, I would say who's watching fucking slot machines? But for it's sports it's slot machines. It's active. It's action. There's spins. There's anticipation. It's... Sports betting. You got to watch a whole game. All right. Poker is super slow paced. I don't. I don't know. I find poker. I actually like watching poker. I find it. I do too, but I don't think Trainwreck's a good enough player to make it interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. About like a back rat or like you know, some other like <laughs> some James Bond game. shit. Yeah, like yeah. Well, the gravy train just arrived, so um, let me just thank our sponsors real fast, yeah, and we'll bring uh, we can we'll we'll bring Mr. Gravy on. Okay. Um, let me thank our sponsors real fast. Gamer Sub Nation, rise the fuck up. Gamer Sub. <laughs> Sup, 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 sup. Mm. Today I'm drinking citrus lemonade. Mm. It's so good. It's so energizing. I love Gamersup. Gamersup's the new partner of the channel. We love them. Gave over 10,000 of you. Whoa! 10,000 people got a free uh, trial. That's awesome. Gamersup offers the healthiest and best tasting alternative to energy drinks and soda. Sugar sucks. It's terrible for you. Actually, we just learned that it can cause depression, too. Negative effects should include weight gain, increased uh, risk of heart disease, acne. Enjoy getting an energized boost in your day by simply throwing two scoops of the shake into your shaker cup or, shaker cup or water bottle. It's that simple. 
You remember uh, Washboard Abs uh, psychiatrist that we had on the show the other day? You could get Washboard Abs just like that if you drink gamer stuff. Yeah, you just you just open it up, take a couple scoops out. Oh, it's a tiny scoop. Look at that. Look how you don't small even have to think about it. Two dude. of these. Yep. And you're energized, and it tastes great. I love it, man. I, I love it. Been I'm seeing a lot of feedback from the Poopa Troopers that they uh, did the offer for the free samples. Isn't that and crazy? That they that, that was such a they good offer. They got them out really quick, too. I've been seeing a ton of people say they just got them like a couple days later and that they're loving it. So, Tastes great. Got out. <laughs> it's so much better than drinking a sugary drink, and it's honestly way cheaper, too. 35 cents per serving. A lot of people use this product, you know, to get a healthier edge, to cut out the sugar. It's got zero sugar, zero calories, 100 milligrams of organic caffeine. It even has a caffeine-free option, if that's what uh, you're looking for. Uh, we gave it a bunch of free samples last time, so if you enjoyed them and are looking to grab your first tub, shaker, or any other cool stuff, use the code H3. It gives you free shipping to anywhere in the world on all orders over 30 bucks for the next 72 hours. After, t uh, after 72 hours, the code will still give a 10% discount in case you grab some later, so... Code H3, free shipping anywhere in the world. Somebody Over 30 bucks. Guac Fart is their favorite. I haven't tried the I gotta guac try fart Guac yet. Fart. Yeah, we gotta yeah. try it. <laughs> name is on. The on. name did put me off a little bit, but apparently it's very good. As somebody else just said Guac Gamer Fart is so good. If you wanna see an H3 <laughs> shaker or flavor in the future, go support and don't forget to use the code H3, guys. The link in the description takes you right to the website. Hey guys, sorry I'm, uh, sorry I'm uh, slacking. I'm almost done. Thank you, guys. Thank you, bro. Nice seeing you. Uh, if you want to, yeah, please use this uh, link in the description, guys. Go to the website. Use the code. We love you. Gamer Sup Nation forever. Um, yes, indeed. Next up, HelloFresh. You guys know Fupa Troopers live for HelloFresh. Farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store. Count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. And that's why it's America's number one meal kit for... Pizza's sake. sake. You don't even have to think about it, dude. They send you a, you know, a box of the most beautiful, lovely food to cook yourself. They tell you how to do it. It's delicious. It's more affordable. It's a no-brainer. You don't have to think about it, dude. You don't even have to think about it, dude. Uh, Fubu Troopers love HelloFresh, especially AB, right? Uh, especially AB, although he just... Uh... He's back. coming, he's coming, he's coming. Oh, oh there he is. Come on in. I, 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 I absolutely love it. We need a new dish from you, bro. We, you need to do some actually, other... Oh, 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 what's up? What's Wait that? Wait a minute, what's Tell this? me more about this dish. Mm. I've actually, I've been actually working on something. I'm just oh. Okay, that's exciting. Yeah. Chef AB. ABH3. Uh, if you're looking for more ways to save money, HelloFresh is 25% less expensive than takeout, and it's even cheaper than grocery store shopping because you don't have all that waste. HelloFresh works around your schedule. Plans are flexible, and you can change your meal preference, update your delivery day, and even change your address with just a few taps of the HelloFresh app. Every time a HelloFresh dinner comes, it's a good night. You know you're getting a delicious, a healthy meal, a well-balanced meal. And uh, it's fresh. I mean, I don't know what to say. It's a no-brainer. You know what they uh, they sent uh, me last week was this. I don't want to call it pizza. It was like a, a pita bread pizza kind of thing. Like a short. Uh, what do they? Call I think that? it was a flatbread. Flat flatbread. Bread. There you go. But it just came packaged. It was like the easiest thing ever. It's all like pre-made. You don't even you have take to it out of the package, it, threw it in the oven for about thirty minutes, and damn, that shit was fucking good. Of course, it's good. Boy. Oh, we have a new offer. Some of you guys are gonna love this. HelloFresh.com slash 65H3. Use the code 65H3 and get 65% off plus free shipping. Wow. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. Wow. Unbelievable. And that's why, my friends, it's America's number one meal kit. Guys, HelloFresh.com slash uh, 65H3. Use code 65H3 for 65% off plus free shipping. Thank you. Thank you. Let's bring the gravy train up. Young Gravy is here at Long Glass. What's up? He's coming. He's here. He is, uh, join me. You're right here next to me, bud. Oh, we have, hey man, how are you? Oh, thank you. What's this? Oh, thanks, bro. Who are you? Tip? Love that. DJ and Bestie and all that. DJ, Bestie, Tip. We love that. What's this? 
Doug, pardon me, please. Hey, nice hey. to meet you, man. Pleasure. Nice to yeah. see you. Here. So I just get it right in front of my, my dome. So my thanks kisser. for being here. Sorry that yeah, we man. canceled on you last time and I was late this time. No fucking respect. I'm sorry, bro. No, oh, dude, it's all good, <laughs> man. I'm, I'm used to do the same thing. Good. Oh, I like the background. Yes, yeah, so, uh, yeah, it's a springtime background. So, um, what do we got here? You bring we, me a present? Do you need, yeah. can we get some water for gravy? Are we turning up on, on you want stimulants right now? Yeah. You want some G gamer stuff? Yeah, stop, please. Stop, 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 get him the stop, get him the guacamole stop, fart. Stop, 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 can I get some guacamole fart gamer yeah. stuff? Hell yeah, man. Yeah, this, I, I love this shit. I did do uh, an app for G Fuel lately. Oh no, we don't, don't talk know. about that. We don't. Okay, I, I figured. Yeah, you blurt that word out. Fuck so, G Fuel, bro. Stop, 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 yeah, you work with G Fuel? That's cool. It's all good. They got they got bags. They're more they're mortal uh, enemies, gamer yeah, stuff and G Fuel. All right, let's see. What you get me? Ethan and Ela, thanks for having us. Love y'all. Here's a little gift for you from Tip. It's for him. We yeah. love y'all, baby. Babe Nash. That's from Gravy. Babe Nash. Babe Nash. I, uh, we're, he, he's a huge fan. Tip, fan. my man, dude. Tip, come here. Tip, come here, dog. Come on, dude. This I got is... you. I got you. I found these in around my house, so I just. Oh, you have some extra vapes some for me. Some vapes that Thank I found God. around the house. I don't know if you want to hit it at all, but I'm gonna I'm gonna oh, try to hit shit. this a couple times. Thanks, dude. I'm not a huge vape guy, but I'm just gonna try to hit it. <laughs> Tip, come know. here. Oh yeah, Tip's a real fan. Couple real, bell peppers. Ones, That's the real yeah. one. Tip yeah, knows baby. what's up. Do you have any idea what that means? He explained it to yeah, me. Okay. I, I didn't know that part. Yeah. Here, let's take a bite. Thanks, bro. That came up. You want to cheer? We, uh, are you are want to do a bell pepper? We should all do a fucking bite. Yeah. 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 We, need, we can share something. Yeah. That's super sweet. Should we do it? At the yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Here we go. Here. No. no. <laughs> you want to do it with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Cheers. Cheers, oh, you guys want to get intimate with it. That's all three at the same time. We all made it, innit? Mmm, that was the fucking up. Never tasted Tis. so good. Tis. Oh, that was good as hell. That's sweet, huh? Mmm. Good match, innit? That's a good. You ever do that? Just crack into a bell pepper like that? Absolutely. Not with a tomato, but. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah, I don't know if you want this at all, but I found it at my house, and there it is. I'm gonna, I was gonna try to force myself to rip the vape today. Are you uh um, our vape nation? Are you uh, a smoker? I I had a phase. Cigarettes, yep. So it's not are you like dependent on that? Like usually you'd be smoking or something, or is that that gets you through? No, I had I had like a two month phase when I went to Europe and everyone was doing it and I yeah. wanted to like fit in and be cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean I had it took me a little like another couple of weeks after to get off of it, but no, I'm not really a big sick. Okay, okay. You know? Yeah, that happened to me when I was in Israel. Everyone there like just chain smokes, bro. So they got me. No, I literally found me sitting at my house, and I was like, you know, let's vape up, dude. Yo, bro, that watch is insane. Zach, you can like I get it? your take on this watch? That thing is nice. You got a date just, right, Gravy? Uh, yeah, date just, Oyster Perpetual, I, th I don't dude, know. Dude, that thing is nice. I don't know nice. all the, the fancy details, but it's, um... It's, it's beautiful, man. The mother of pearl, thank you. It's very yeah. beautiful. What do you think, Zach? Color. Impressed? Uh, very, yeah. What's the re What's the MSRP on that? Uh, like ten thousand. That's not not like oh. insane, really. But it's a little something. That's how much yours cost, Zach. His looks more beautiful than yours. Well, no what, what year is yours? Is like nineties, <laughs> eighties? I don't know. I brought I brought it fresh from the from the ice box. That's and brand like, oh, okay. new, baby. So I mean, I mean, I've been wearing this for like four years. I haven't even switched it up. It's every day, watch. every beautiful. day of my life, this is on my wrist for beautiful. four years now. Mm -hmm. You think wearing a Rolex does something for you when you roll around? Do you think that people notice? You roll around. Uh, I've always wondered. There are there are yeah. like the you know guys who will be super into watches and start like naming off facts mm -hmm, and everything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I don't know. I don't really know. You don't follow. I like that. the color of it. It's beautiful. You know? I like it, and it adds a little something. And I don't know. My my dad dad Swiss, and I, I wanted to rep something switch Love that, on man. me. So beautiful, the rolly, baby. Well, um, it was just my, my truck oh yeah, try yeah. that. I've been wondering what that tastes like. It is green. Stop, 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 stop. People have been saying it's the best flavor, so hit that up. Tastes like Baja Blast, kind of. Oh shit! Mm -hmm. That's a good reveal. I love Baja That's not Blast. What it looks like it. Kind of like Riptide Rough Gatorade as well. So, um, I wanted to ask you. Well, first of all, I want to ask you a few <clears> things. <throat> I know that your your the milf hunting thing is 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 yep. serious for you. When's the Fair first point. time that you had sex with a or? You've slept with many milfs, I understand. You're a bit of a milf slayer. I, I mean, I'm, you know, a, a relative, relatively decent amount. I won't yeah, say yeah, it, insane. Yeah. You know, I'm not, I'm not, not insane. Okay. Not going Gene Simmons mode, but um, yeah. uh, 
A handful. And I, I, I think the first time was, was in high school. Late, late high school. Oh. Mm-hmm. Was it a friend's mom? Not a friend's mom. No, so who was she? Who I, was I, I, she? Wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. Uh, it was a woman that sold me drugs. Yo. Yeah. Did she have kids? She did have kids. Did her kids know that's about? What, that's what a MILF, that's like kind of a definition. Well, d- well I know, but that's another question I want to ask you as our a now resident MILF expert. Do they have to have kids? Well, you see, there's MILF and Cougar, and, and, and I think they kind of just get, you know, combined sometimes. You know, I, I believe that uh, if you have a, a pet cat and you take really good care of it as your child, you could mm-hmm. be a MILF. You have a pet cat because it's an old pussy? Just, you know, it's a child. Oh, it's okay. a child, yeah. <laughs> okay, all right, I see. As long as they have some kind some of... Some type uh, of something they care for. Under there. Yeah, okay. Indeed, yeah. So you first had sex with the MILF in high school, and, and did that set on your lifelong passion for slaying? It was, it was you know, it was, it was a little bit influential, and I think it, it played a part in my lyrical content. Mm-hmm. But I just, you know, once I started rapping and... and you know, creating a brand, I, I figured, you know, this MILF thing is... is to vibe. I'm into it. Other people are into it. No one's talking about it. Let's get it out there. Oh, do you know what? That's so true, because if you look at the Pornhub stats, I think, and you guys can maybe fact check this, the number one category was MILF, dude. It's got to be step sibling, no? I think it's MILF. It's MILF? Well, or a MILF is at least like one or two. I want to think that I maybe helped contribute to that a little for bit sure, over the bro. year or two. In so le- 2021, MILF was number four. Oh, it was number four. Okay. Did I, and, but it's Mil- is it number one in some countries or states? I believe it is. Here, I'll keep looking now. But that surprised me because it's like you said, nobody talks about the MILF phenomenon. Mm-hmm. Until now. Until now. Now you're, you're the... Uh, Spokesperson. Yeah, man. You're bringing it to the forefront. Would you date a... Girl, your age? Oh like, yeah, I have. Yeah, you would. I have. Totally. You would. You would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not. It's not strictly milfs. And, I see. And I think people believed that, and then had a little scandal go on uh, with a, a sex tape that got leaked online. What? Yeah. You had a sex tape? Yeah. It's not, it's it's nothing too crazy. It's, what? It's, you guys didn't mention the sex tape? Yeah, Tell me about it's, it, bro. It's kind of like wide from the internet. Oh, she's seen it. I saw it in your eyes. Uh, it's a uh, it's a wholesome little <laughs> wholesome little. Uh, Video, it's it's you know, as sex tapes go, is about as wholesome and it's mellow. Happy. Do you see? Yeah. Can I, can you see dick in it? Barely. Yeah, little, little dick. Trunk, little trunk. Little yeah. trunk. Okay. Just a, a base. Um, but okay. It, it was. Uh, and what is your very, what is your dick doing in the shot? Having sex. Okay, it's going in mm-hmm. penetrating. Hi, yeah, I'm dick. And, and then, so, so the the. My point was is, is that it's clear in the video that the woman's not a MILF. And that, oh, and that, that, that ruined your streak, And that man. video blew up, and everyone Fuck. was like, bro, what is he doing? Oh, my God. And oh. um, the video was kind of funny. I'd say watch it after. It's, I mean, I, like, flip the camera around, and I, like, smile. And I, get, I like, can pull it up. You guys want to send me? I won't, wa- I won't watch it on if that's not uncomfortable for you. But I'll oh, watch I'm it. I'm watching it, but it, I mean. I won't put it on the screen. Yeah. I'll just watch it so I can tell the people what I'm seeing. Go ahead. I'm a mute ahead, too. Man. Well, he said, yeah, <laughs> I mean, if you can well, find it, I mean, we're, I mean, yeah, so how did the okay. video leak, though? I, I got hacked by, you, you guys, if anyone's going to know, you guys probably know, you know Chuckling Squad? Nah. Nah, I don't know who they target them, but it's it's like a, a group of hackers from, I don't know where, but they, they've gotten, like, a lot of other <laughs> celebrities in the past, and basically their whole plan is just hack someone's account, Tweet the N word, you know, just <laughs> piss, just to piss people off. Good man. Fuck, I've and, seen that. Yep, that's such a crazy game plan. That's like how they got they got James Charles, and then everybody right. thought that the, 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 they were actually really right. I remember he tweeted some crazy yeah, shit. Yeah, and, and people, people thought it was real. That up? Yeah, it was real. I think some people do still think it's real, actually. So did they do that to you? Did they tweet? So they, the oh, they tried, but I had a I had a good hacker friend myself who was hacking them back at the same time. Mm. So I mean, there was like a three hour period where they had my they they did a sw- sim swap sim swap. Someone tried that to me once. Yep. Yeah. Sim swap, and then they got my number, and they got into all these accounts. And then I was going out like a new. Uh, I had two phones at the time, luckily, and I was like trying to handle everything. And they didn't get any like really offensive tweets out. There there was one tweet where like some fan asked for like free passes, and they just quoted it and they said. Hell no! <laughs> just like man, dick. like just being a dick, and like, yeah, just, yeah. people thought it was funny, but I was like, no, that's that's not me. Uh, and and they had access to my iCloud, and and they waited this long, but they they had that video and dropped it. Wow! Like two years later. So you, by the way, the sim swap thing is so scary. That was like 
so close, bro. I was yeah. so close to like losing my YouTube channel. You don't put your number into anything anymore, like like Tooth Factor, all that stuff. Yeah, I, I had to go get crazy high security at AT and T. I like I found a guy who worked there who was a fan, and he gave me like that's what I like, got too. An account that has like three businesses, and then they're all named random things, and they have right. addresses, and it's not traceable. Yeah, uh, totally. Because basically, how it works is they'll these guys. It's called social engineering, right? They'll call the phone company, and they'll just keep calling until they find someone dumb enough to believe that they work for the phone company and then you say oh i need a new sim card uh, issued for this person and then they send a new sim card and then basically they can get all your two-step factors yeah yeah huh. well, that's scary well i'm glad uh, it was just a little bit of, of a trunk there yeah i mean i mean it was the, there was a the first moment and then two years later they came back with the sex tape drop which you know was pretty lame and i you know, scarred some of the younger fans probably, and felt really bad for the girl who was in the video and everything. But uh, I think it's all good now. It's pretty much scraped. But if you have Golly, to find it, I didn't then, know that. Oh, it's yeah. scraped. That's how we didn't find it. Oh, we found it. Oh, you found it. Okay. Yeah, we you found it. Yeah, it's uh, apparently just uh, go to gravysdick.com and if you want to, yeah, go no, ahead. Just, you know what? Go ahead. It's Thank quick and, and wholesome. Do you want me to watch this? Sure. Yeah. 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 Okay. I want. I do want to see your reaction. I'm all right. So this. here is. Um, I've been muted. But going to watch. Uh, Young Gravy's sex tape here. Oh my god, that's the face. <laughs> Gee, you're having a fun time, man. All right, so here it is. Okay, uh, this girl, uh, in what would be referred to colloquially as a doggy style. You're ha having a really good time. You guys seem to be really lots of gusto, man. <laughs> Yeah, I don't like that laugh combined with my sex tape. But yeah, I think um, see, it's it's not bad because it, eh. if it's audio, it's like I'm smiling and I like I address myself. I'm like, hey, buddy, and then I kind of I say I talk about having a leg cramp. It's kind of like, oh, they're just having fun. How did you? What was? It's like you were posting a. It's almost like you filmed it like a TikTok. I guess so. I literally was was filming. And I was like, no, I'm done with this, and I threw the phone down, and it landed facing me, and I said. Let's go. All right, I'm, I'm smiling myself, and I never thought I'd go anywhere. It was just a one-time thing. But they, so uh, the girl who's in it was she? She's cool. I mean, that, yeah, that sucks that she got roped into it because those. Yeah, there were, there, were, there were no issues that came out of it. Yeah, that's good. It out. That's good. We handled it. But she looks like she's having. Everyone's having a good time everyone's here. So time. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Well, sh well, shout out Young Gravy. Just saw your dick a little bit. That's okay. The, the Trump, man, you want yeah. me to show you mine? I would love that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. After the show, later. All I'll right. whip it out for you. Thanks, man. Yeah, of course. Anything, man. I feel like we're already uh, dogs after that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are. We met about eight minutes ago, and you, you saw my opinion. Already talking. Yeah, exactly. That, um, I want to talk to you a little bit about your come up. Um, mm -hmm. you've been ma how long have you been making music? Six years. Okay. It's about that's six years now. I feel like that's a pretty good time frame yeah. to be like discovered. I... I I think there was about two years of me grinding really hard on SoundCloud, and I, I at, at first I didn't show my face anywhere because I had a job that I wanted to get, mm. like like a job that was locked in for after college. I was going to uni University of Wisconsin, and I had a job locked in. I didn't want to lose that, so I wasn't showing my face. I didn't want my boss to hear anything. But I also kind of thought it was a cool little shtick to like hide my face, sure. and like all my art was just pinup girls and like vintage stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, so that was like two years worth of like slightly growing to the point where I was like, okay, like this is kind of serious. I could drop a video. I dropped a video where I revealed my face and it mm. like blew up. A lot of it was just everyone commenting, oh my God, I thought he was black and, and Interesting. Not. Because of my voice, my voice is low. Um, and then, let me think, that would have been in 2019 and, no, 2018. Went on tour right after, graduated college early. Went on tour ten days later, and ever since then it's been, Damn, been gravy, nice. man. That is a gravy train, bro. It's cool. Um, what was the what? What did you study? What was the job you were looking to get? Well, I studied marketing and finance. Yeah, I ended up dropping finance for the early graduation, and I worked at a startup accelerator. It's mm. kind of like a record label for for tech. Mm. So, like, someone comes up with like a a cool new technology. A new sleep apnea machine or something, but they're mm. they're a PhD student, so they're kind of nerdy. You don't really know how to make something sexy. So then I was the guy that would come in and make it sexy, damn, and brand it, and teach them how to talk to an audience. You feel like that skill you were able to apply to like your own brand? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. that was that's like my bread and butter. That's so that, interesting. Yeah. What are some things that you knew going into this where you're like, I need to market myself good. Here's some things I know I need to do. 
just be different, be unique, um, have something recognizable that is your thing that no one else has. And for me now, there's like, you know, the vintage sort of artwork, the MILF thing obviously is one of the main ones. Love them. Um, I have a lot of samples in my music that other people aren't using. I got this this very particular one from a Dennis Edwards song where it goes, whoa! Hmm. It's in every single song of mine. People <laughs> tell me it's that. Okay. And yeah, man, just making yourself different, stand out. Interesting. Do you, well, every time you use that short sample, do you have to pay? No, we, we, we um, there was close to being an issue, but, but I actually just recreated something very similar to it. Oh, yeah. clever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I have to do a lot of stuff like that. The sample clearance processes are not fun, so do a lot of stuff. Yeah, I, that's one of my questions I want to ask you. I noticed that the sampling is super heavy. I mean, your your really your big hit right now is the, the Betty. The, yeah, Betty. What you sample the uh, Rick Roll. So is that a really what's that process like to sample that song? So basically, we we have a few good friends that are really good uh, instrument players and recreating anything or original compositions too but we we recreated the original song what completely you didn't even license it so we didn't say well we had the the on the publishing side it's confusing but basically the, the people who wrote the song mm -hmm. since we use the same chords and the same lyrics and everything they have to clear it but since we didn't use the actual audio from the song we Whoa. recreated it it was a whole skip we stepped or step we skipped wow yeah and um rick Astley wasn't actually involved because he didn't write it so, oh man, he's down he with got the song. rolled. Yeah, basically, he, he's down with the song though. I mean, like he's a fan, but but there <laughs> was three so... other writers Damn. that had to had to approve it, and I had to change all the lyrics because it was a lot dirtier, and then I had to make it cleaner. Damn, and finally did. That's that's so unexpected. So they are getting a little bit on the backside, but mm -hmm. but not that much because you you it's your music on the publishing side, which would be like radio play or if it's gets put in a movie or something they're okay, making a, okay, they're, they're, okay. they're making a bag for yeah. sure they, they own a good percentage of it but anything else like streams and that's all you stuff it's your boy wow that's so cool yeah it worked out well and you also did uh there was one you did uh mr clean yeah mr sandman i, I know i love this bro uh mr clean was same one thing of, was one of many songs that i i put out way early on didn't know i didn't even have a lawyer i didn't know how, how to clear a sample oh. so I, I put them out without clearing it yeah and then with those songs a lot of times no one notices and then eventually they come back uh when the song's big and, try mm -hmm. to get money. and sometimes they're cool about it sometimes they're dicks yeah uh, i would so imagine they're always dicks. they're surprisingly like especially if the song's doing really well and they get to meet me then they're, they're, they're pretty cool mm. but like george michael's estate for example i had a, i had a pretty big song that sampled careless whisper and that one is just, I have to pay a check, real big check out to him, like, the, <clears throat> Monday. Um, so, yeah, sometimes they, they don't love it. Are you, what was the result of the Mr. Sandman one? That one was like, they, that, that took a while for them to find, too. I think it was already, like, gold or platinum, and, and they finally came. Because because that's, the original song's made in the 50s. Or, mm -hmm. Yeah, I think mid-50s. 1954. Yeah, oh, wow, that's my guess, cute. So, uh, they... Finally found it. The the surviving members of or the not the surviving members, I guess the the estate that's around, and they they were cool. That whoever whoever checked it out was was fans, and, and oh, they said I'd give them a percentage. That's yeah. so nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you give them a percent, what kind of percent are we talking about? Something like that. I mean, that dude, like literally, that song is purely a sample with some drums on it. So that one, I like. Fair enough. I think we gave them. 80 percent damn that's a tough business yeah. boy but i mean i was like dude i but it is I their song that. right yeah that's what i did yeah do you have to pay him back though for like the years you you had it going and didn't depends yeah it so depends. it's, it's all time. up to them how every every they time, yeah be. and like and my lawyer negotiating and all that stuff yeah fuck it's confusing man do I you just, do you feel like you lose out on a lot of revenue from all from sampling all this shit well my old songs i sampled a lot now i just make my own samples. smarter about it yeah i usually re recreate stuff um original that's so cool i didn't even know you no could things. do that yeah man not a lot of people do it <clears throat> people sleep on it there it is young gravy there you have it remixing it uh may i call you mr gravy yeah go right ahead. okay all right cool just making sure i want to be uh, respectful at all time yeah man go right ahead. so um i wanted to show you a couple things here um huh? i wanted to that's get not, your okay. take on a few things here all righty um, oh you know who you're on TikTok a lot. You're very popular on TikTok. I don't look at it, but I, I post on it. Okay, so so did you do you know about Howie Mandel's TikTok? 
I do, I do, because because uh, he he asked me to be on a podcast. Oh, he asked you. Did you blow him and, off? No, I mean I I sent I sent it on to my man. Nobody watches and, that shit. And then right oh. after that, the, <laughs> right afterwards, <laughs> they came back uh, or someone came back. Like, did you see that he just posted posted a butthole on his TikTok? Did you see the original? I didn't see it. No, so, but no, that's it's not just a butthole. Informed. Yeah, so let me show you uh, the I'm clip. Like, we're gonna watch it now. All right. Yeah, this is my favorite thing, and I like just to keep the dream alive. Okay, with Howie Mandel. Now, when someone told you uh, he posted a butthole, you can see right here. Uh, oh, is no. this did what you imagine they meant? Uh, put this audio, please, Zach. It's up. And does somebody know? Is this COVID related? And if it is, what do we do about it? Ow. When my friend Neil bent over, this yeah. happened. Would you describe that as a butthole or? Does somebody you know, is this COVID related? To the people at home. And if it is, is, is that what do we. Human? That's a prolapse. Booty hole? Yeah, that's a, that's a fully like prolapse. A horse, horse taking a poop. <laughs> it's fucking gnarly. <laughs> that's pretty brutal. Yeah, so shout out yeah, so He just casually said, yeah, you know, let's do that. What do yeah, we do well, about it? Yeah, so what do we do about that? And then also, there's one other thing I like to show. Is there anything you want to say about Howie's uh, prolapse or are we just going to move on? Howie's prolapse. Um. Rate it, maybe? Interesting, interesting choice, man. I think he looked like he was just feeling himself. I think he didn't think it was weird. No, know? he, bro, he was all about that prolapse. Yeah, he was He was feeling, he was trying to roast his <clears throat> helmet or something. And the thing is, how he's so PC, his whole image is so clean. So he's like, so, this is just another day, man, but our, on but TikTok. Our, our prolapse butthole's not PC? <clears throat> it's pretty, some people would consider it pretty, pretty uh, graphic. Graphic. Can you show a normal butthole on TikTok? Probably not, right? I guess, yeah, yeah. Which are prolapses. <laughs> probably even worse. A whole different. Yeah. Or maybe okay, it okay, becomes you... medical at that point. I don't know. Okay, I got it. So, <laughs> like, know? like you know, so. Yeah. Guidelines, correct. I guess politically correct. It's like, fair enough. It's a tough, you know, it's an interesting awesome. dialogue. Uh, again, also. So many years. Oh, yeah. You know Nelk Boys? Are you cool with them? Uh, yeah. Yeah, Nelk Boys are cool. You like them? Great guys, uh, Steve will do it. I'm a I big fan like, of. You don't, you don't like him. I listen. I like Steve will do it. I wanted to show this anecdote. This is just something we show our guests for fun. Okay. Uh, so I just want to get your read. I, on I've, I've met them. They're, they're really nice guys. No, I agree. Really nice guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a vibe right no, it's now. It's good. It's good. I like them. But but I can see you know. What people you think would. I'm setting you up? Yeah. Yeah, you feel it coming. But it's okay. I'm just gonna play this, and uh, you tell me what you I'm think. Gonna hit this vape in the meantime. Yeah, go for it. You're gonna need it. Honestly, for this. I miss my ex-girlfriend's dogs. I really yeah, do. I miss. I swear, I really miss. That's them. dude. That's the thing. Oh, dude, when we broke up, we broke up for eight months. Really, how how I started talking to her, I started okay, yeah. messaging Donald on Instagram. I really miss her dogs, man. Yeah, dogs are dope. Selena, yeah. um, our dog star is like is he's recently he's been like you come home and there's just come everywhere. What? Yeah. Are you talking about? Like come over the couches. And like shit. you see it, you see the cum? Like yeah, visually? you see cum stains and his dick is like all big and throbbing. So like it sucks, but like this is like kind of crazy I'm saying this, but mm -hmm. one, I'm the cool dad now. Okay, and where are you going I'm with the this? favorite. You're the favorite, you're the cool and dad. And two, you can control where the cum goes. What are you talking about? Oh, how do you do this? So I get IVs all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. You know they wear gloves? Yes. So lately I've been just like, bro, so you just go, you put on the glove, and you said Donald, you just go in on his stomach, or like on his stomach right here. Or like you go cow style. <laughs> cow style. Because the cow style is what better, are you talking better about for right catching. <laughs> and then you go and you usually just play like a, like a, like I like cartoons, like Disney, like family friendly and shit. Uh, and you just, I've been, uh, I've been just like jerking off Donnie. Jerking your dog off. I swear. That's. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hold on. So, you're telling me right now that you've been jerking your dog off, and that's so what he you're doesn't. Cool dad. No. <laughs> it might sound crazy, but it's strictly business. Um, okay. Is where and it's kind of I watch something to occupy myself, and it's more of just a, it's more of a um, little workout. But the thing is, like, dude. I'm the cool dad because imagine if you couldn't jerk off and like was like what the fuck do I do? He comes by like fucking a pillow, you know. That's his normal. That's his normal move, dude. Yeah. But imagine, imagine you trying to come by like fucking a pillow. Like it's probably like hard. Yeah. It's probably not the best. Yeah. But then imagine you had someone come in and go help you out. 
Yeah, and then honestly, that's fucking that's dope of you, bro. <laughs> but I think like there's plenty of reasons. I gotta control where the cum goes. Okay. And I feel like he likes me better than uh, he likes me way better than Selena now. I'm the, I'm the cool dad, dude. <laughs> I'll be honest. I didn't see this conversation going that way, but I res I kind of <laughs> like crazy. I kind of respect it. I yeah. So are you into dogs or are you a dog person? <laughs> More of a cat guy. I don't jerk oh, I'll jerk mine off, but <laughs> yeah, so I, I started giving. Our cat. I live at a house with a few people. I started giving her more catnip, and she, I'm the good cool dad now. I didn't. You didn't have to <laughs> didn't finger have to these or, lengths. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You just the catnip. Uh, That's what usually people do. Just give him treats. <laughs> yeah, it, he goes on and. You don't on. think that was a bit, bro? No. Serious <laughs> as a heart attack. That shit went on for 20 minutes, bro. He talked about not a long bit. Okay. No, I'm telling you. I haven't met him. I met everybody else. So okay. you no, know, he's a good guy know. though. He just like you know. Seems like just like, and, and and then his dog would agree. I mean, you could see, you could tell he had good intentions. You know, he was just trying to look out for the dog and the household. That's He's a it. cool, cool dad. Yeah, He's cool, cool dad. dad. I bet. Nice, um, well, there you go. So your uh, gravy is a cat person. You heard it here, folks. Cat guy. Yeah, I know that people might not like that, man. I'm sorry, but I uh, I just at my house we have a a really cute cat and a a baby husky. And the husky oh. is really cute, but she's really annoying. And the cat and I are just like tight. Oh yeah, huskies yeah. are super high energy dogs. Fighting things and yeah, like jumping over tables to steal my hot dog and things like. Oh, that. Oh no, yeah. we can't be we fucking can't with have that. that, man. Yeah, so, we can't go. How old's the husky? Husky now has got it. Oh, it's, it's older now. It's got to be like four or five months. It's getting bigger. Oh my god, she's just a tiny ba uh, puppy. It was a little little fucker, but now Whoa. now she's she's getting up there. Damn. Yeah. To get up there. So is Tip the one taking care of the husky? How's that work? Tip doesn't live at my house. He lives, oh, okay. he lives up, up the block. But I got a, a little sort of like almost rapper, emo rapper, frat house vibe. Kind that's of. Kinda... A bunch of us studios and a bunch of dudes staying there. It's a good time. Good time. Anyone else I would know that's staying there? Uh, let me think. Bryce Vine and little Aaron used to live with us. Little Aaron. Uh, little Aaron. You know little Aaron? And no, I don't. Uh, yeah, I think you might like little Aaron. You guys would get along. It's uh. Oh, here he is. Cute. Oh yeah, there's me and my dad. Wow, look at you. That's me and, and her when she was littler. Oh, she's a big girl. She's big now. Yeah, yeah, huskies are huskies are known to be like super pain in the ass dogs because they have they have so much energy. Yeah. They have to have so much stimulus, or they'll wolves. just destroy your house. Yeah. yeah. Wolf, wolves, wolves. Yeah. <sighs> you know Oliver Tree? He's a piece of shit. Just wanted to mention that too. If you That's know who he is, exactly. music sucks. I did uh I did Jeff's pod. I, I saw you did Jeff had Jeff on here, yeah. Jeff Wittick. Yeah. Um I did his podcast. I think the first thing he said, uh, it's one of the, in the first few minutes of interview was, Do you know Oliver Tree is a piece of shit? Well, that's yeah. interesting. I mean he has that effect on people. Yeah. He really sucks. His music is horrible too. I really I really like him over FaceTime. I've never met him never met him in person. <clears throat> he's he's just trying to suck up to you because he knows you're on the come up. I didn't like the I didn't like the the original bulk up but the new hair is a little better. What, what do the, you uh the kid rock look? What yeah, but what did he do to you? <laughs> bro, where are you begin? What, where are you what start? didn't he do, bro? All right, he's enough. a piece of shit. I just want to get. I just trying to tip you off. Give you a heads up. Yeah. He fucked a seventy year old. I know that. He was. He was trying to like flex on me. He hit me just for that reason. He's like, man, I know you've been with women like around fifty, but I. I just, Wait, who's the? Fun. What's the oldest you've slept with? I mean, he was forty nine, but I was twenty four. So therefore, fifty one. Bigger age gap, you think? Big what? Bigger age gap. Well, I mean, she stayed the same age, and I said, I mean, she grew and I grew, so it's the same gap, but now, right. now she's 51, indeed. He went to 70. You know, I wanted to, speaking of smashing MILFs, um, I see you put out a ranking of your top five MILFs of all time, right? Oh, yeah, this was uh, all time. Yeah, so, so if you ever go as number one, number they ask me this at every interview. Cool. It's just a classic, like, oh, let's get gravy in an in interview, and let's think of something original to ask him. So, so, cool. so well, well, well. This was this was a good one. Don't don't group us in yet, okay? Mm -hmm. You said Sophia Vergara, obviously beautiful. Sherry Nicole, that's Addison Ray's mom, right? Mm -hmm. You smashed that. <laughs> you fucking hit that. Good shit, friend, bro. good friend it's of mine. You didn't say no. Man. Yo, did you really hit that? If I said no, or yes, it would you know be a drum. It'd be <laughs> a drum. Yeah, we're friends. We associate. So if you guys didn't say, if you didn't have sex. Oh shit, I can't get the read. But you put her number two. Yeah. Well, I think she's you sweet, hit it. man. We had a good we had a good time. Yeah? How late do you guys hang out? Was it like a next morning thing or like a 
She well, she came to the VMAs with me as my date. Yeah, yeah. And and she came out the day before. I took her on a nice dinner date. And she ended up being such a sweetheart. So. Did you guys go back? Whose house did you go back to? After? We were also, we were staying at the same hotel. Same hotel. Yeah. Different, oh. different rooms. Were they connected? Was there a door connecting them? We had a uh, great little hotel experience. We we did the VMAs the following day, and then it was one more day to chill a little bit, man. It was a good time. You know, she's actually she's actually pretty young. What is she? What do we say? She's like 42. 40, 42. I just turned 43 on September 4th. You know her. You're very familiar with her age. Uh, just saying. So you guys stayed at the same hotel. Did you guys have a nightcap uh, after the VMAs? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't mean we had sex, man. No, I'm not. Hey, what the fuck? I didn't imply that. I said nightcap. Nightcap, yeah. What'd you guys drink? It was uh, Black Label, Johnny Walker. Nice drink. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. You drink it with ice or straight? How did she drink it? I go, I think we took shots. I think it was shots? Ratchet oh, my activity, God, yeah. bro. Y'all definitely fucked. You know the vibes, man. <laughs> Do it! Taking just... ratchet shots? Come on. Oh, nah, man. It was just celebrating, man. It was our first day. I did not I did my VMAs performance. I was hyped on it. Yeah, it was, it was, it was good. good, man. Yeah, that was exciting. It was exciting. Was, exciting. was there any other homies there, or was it just the two of you? Uh, we had my, I mean, uh, whole squad was Big tip? at that hotel, man. Big tip. Yeah, was he in the room, though? No. Yeah, tip comes everywhere with pounding, me, man. Bro. Yeah, gotta have him everywhere. No, no, no. Yeah. I'm not pounding for tip. There was no one else in the room but you and Sherry, Addison Ray's mom. Right? You, you said some point, yeah, we take shots. Right? Pound it, pound it, bro. Yeah, yeah, pound yeah. it for me. Never give you a yes or no, but I pounded it. <laughs> so, this, this. <laughs> <laughs> you did pound it. Gravy got racks. By the way, I just been, uh, I've been so captivated by this story because I don't know what's real and what's fake and how much is stick or not of the Addison Ray mom thing. Uh, but I'm starting to think you actually did. Hang out with her. Hang out intimately with her. Well, well, she, I, we've been flirting a little, a little bit on the internet, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. I wanted to show her a good time, man. She, she, you know, she's been going through it, and and she's single lady now, and want to set up a first date. Uh, honestly, my my first <laughs> go to was Martha Stewart because I brought her as my date to other places. Is she not too old? But for she you? was. Or she's right in. She, she wasn't available that day. Mm-hmm. So, so Sherry came out. We met, and she was she was sweet. She had to meet my whole team, and and uh, we had a great little, little fun weekend, time. Fun man. time, yeah, yeah, good time. You guys still in contact? Absolutely. Yeah, you guys text. I Can saw I see? Her Can I you just show? Quite me recently. Phone? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just show me that you guys are texting. What do you want to see? No, I'm just kidding. I won't. I won't force you. I know it's on your phone. I just seen it. She lives in uh, Louisiana. I live here. Oh, she's so she's far away. Mm-hmm. You know, I can't have a long-term or a long-distance relationship. Yeah, no, it's just not going to work out. You know, she's a sweetheart, though. Um, let me ask you this. Uh, what time did she go back to her room? Do you remember? <laughs> <laughs> no idea. No idea. No idea. You forgot. Yeah. This was, dude, a month ago. Come on, man. Okay, all right, all right. I think I can, I'm just trying to get to the bottom of this. You know, it's been a big <laughs> topic conversation. I think I... Yeah, I, too huge, dude. I, it's crazy how much they, like... I think so. Right when we walked into the VMAs, right? Mm-hmm. These people just love getting any type of drama or attention or anything. We walk in there and they see who I'm with. We had seats like, you know, middle way up. They're like, oh, gravy, we'd like to switch you to the front. We're going to put oh. you. Oh. So they purposely put us way up in this front area. Yo, dude, you're smart. You would do have that marketing shit. I didn't choose that. They chose it. I was just there for a good time, man. I just want to enjoy but, it. But the MILF angle got secured you that front row seat. Yeah, I guess so. When I brought her in, they're like, oh, no, we want you up here so we can, like, film you. And, and then I saw MTV, everybody posting tons of videos about it. And they're like, oh, let's get any type of attention. That's I guess, awesome. I don't know. I guess nothing else too crazy happened that day because there were so many yeah. things about me. I was like, dude, I just saw all these dope artists get awards. It's like, oh, no one Warren, else got awards Wayne, now. Because L. That I kissed <laughs> Addison Ray, man. Addison Ray's mom. Do you feel bad for Addison? I do because like her dad is such a fucking psycho. Obviously, the man is like just off the rails. And then her mom joins the fray, and you know, uh, I do. Just, I feel bad for her. Like she unfollowed them both, and Me it's too. like, damn. Me too. She just just let her live her, her life. Why her, her parents got to steal her, the thunder? Her dad's pretty pretty, pretty wild. I I stopped looking at the videos he's making, but they were real. You know, real embarrassing. Um, but but you know I've I've reached out to Addison and and I think she's she's focused on other things and like yeah maybe needs a little break but oh that's interesting so you talk to her would just be like yo 
just want to tell you that I, I love your mom. It's not like I mean, I just want to make sure thing. that yeah, I want to make sure it wasn't it wasn't like it was all good with her. As I mean, I'm actually prepared known her. to be her stepdad. I'm actually, I've actually known Addison for a while. She came to a, a meet and greet of mine way back. Oh, before, big fan. Before she was popular on TikTok. I mean, she probably had something. Oh. But I remember going to a meet and greet in like 2019 and, and meeting these girls that were talking about. TikTok. It might have been her and, and one of the other really popping ones, like Amelia or something. Mm -hmm. But they were talking about his TikTok TikTok app and how it's going to be big, and I was like, "All right, cool. cool. Well, let's go. There's a picture somewhere." But that was a few years ago, and okay, I help her out with music stuff. She helps me out with social media stuff. Like that's cool. Oh, you guys girl. are cool like that. Yeah, yeah, nice, yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah. So I mean, just did, did, is she like the stepfather angle? Is that um, is that something you guys are have talked about or? No. Okay. No. Yeah, I don't think yeah, I'm gonna. Not, I don't think I'm gonna be getting uh, not married. Yeah, parent okay. mode for a while here. You know. Yeah. People can have you know fun dates. And not for sure. Parents. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah. By the way, his dad, her dad is fucking nuts. Do you really think that like, because he made that one TikTok where he's like, if I see gravy, it's on site or whatever, and then you responded like, don't do anything stupid, grow the fuck up. Are you scared of him like genuinely doing some dumb shit if you see him in public? I, I'm not really afraid of him like trying to fight me or something. I'm just afraid of him like really losing because he's obviously lost his marbles. Mm -hmm. And if there's one left, like I'm afraid of it just going over the top. Mm -hmm. I guess I've I've had some weird stalkers in the past that like actually were crazy and had like bipolar. I don't I don't think he's, I don't know if he's that crazy, but like people that are like in asylums now. I've been oh, through no. a lot. Of, like I literally three separate times people that really were doing this weird stalker stuff, threatening me with. You know, all types of things. What kind of stuff? Like tying me to a chair in a basement and shit. That's and like, what they wanted to do with came, chair. One of them came to my to my house, my my mother's house, and was in the in the backyard. Oh it was a God! Whole weird. Why the mom? That's fucked yeah. up. Yeah, but it was it was kids I grew up with, so they knew where I lived. You know, the good thing is if he's if you're gonna get locked in the basement, I mean, chair is a good option, right? Who? Did you say locked in the basement with chair? Oh, in a chair. Locked like sometimes I don't hear so good, bro. Taped to a chair, no, I, but I also have a weird voice. <laughs> taped to a chair Fair. in a basement, and I was like, man, that's just the <laughs> scariest thing I could ever imagine. I'd rather die. Than and how did you find out about like this this plan? <laughs> These stuff was they were they were like sending me voice messages of them oh, like breathing God. and like saying that. Shit. Hell and, no. Yeah, and it was all kids that I knew when I was growing up, so they had like they knew where I lived. And it was, was it just, like a jealousy thing, a bitterness thing? You think? Yes. Jealousy things. Two of them wanted to be rappers, and and uh, I think all of them now are either in asylum or um, jail. Wow. So I'm, I've been I've been over that now for a few years. So then I'm just like, but this Monty shit, he's he's, he's funny to look at, but it, occasionally I'll get like a bad vibe. Bad vibe. Like, oh, yeah, what, like, what if this PTSD. becomes another one of these? Yeah, you, you know? never know. You know, so like I'm not really worried about him trying to fight me, but you know, if he, I don't want him to come. It's pretty jack. I don't want him to tie me, dad. tie me to a chair or anything. No, 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 yeah. no, no, no. Anyways, I think I think it's over with. I think he's he, he isn't really. I can't believe this drama. This is all real. I feel like it's all real. That's just fucking incredible. Well, I guess it's, what's your definition of real? Because I think it's just him nonstop posting videos well, about me, and people are kind of laughing. And it's... real being that like you're actually you know there's some relationship between you and Addison Ray's mom, and that his dad is actually angry at you. This isn't like some shtick where she like you guys reached out in the dms and we're, and we're like yo let's do this thing where we're dating it'll be awesome because i could see that happening but it does it does not seem like that's what happened but you think, are the marketing guy so i think who knows? he's i think he's just um running out of anything just to, to, to do to get attention and that's that's where his mind goes and i mean it's, there's no there's no no reason why they're getting back together or anything so mm -hmm. i don't think it's a jealousy thing i think it's just a hmm. You know, attention grabber. And uh, it seems like it might have ended by now. We'll see. Okay. He made a diss track. He did make a diss track. <laughs> did he really? Go check it out. Mm -hmm. Can we pull that up? It's in the doc. That's I don't want to make this whole thing about, I guess it's just live. So we, got time, we got time. We got time. I got a lot of other stuff. Well, then you might as well do it. I didn't know that he made a diss track, though. Let me pull it up here. Um, Addison's Ray challenged you to a fight. Here's Gravy's response. I saw that. Uh, just, just go to... Can you guys highlight or tell right me where here. it is? There you go. You guys got everything prepared. I like that. The Twitter post here? Just tell me the number. Is there this it? Go. Okay. Oh, that looks about right. All right, don't claim me, Monty, you fuck. 
This is for you, bro. No shot. Fuck you and fuck them hoes. I'm a villain in the villa. I stole your bitches. That new gen fame. You didn't steal anyone's bitches. You took his ex-wife. Yeah, That's yeah. literally not exactly the opposite of what happened. <laughs> Keep going. I could help you make a living. Apologize, you will never be forgiven. I am Michael Jordan. You are not Scotty Pippen. In the studio uh -huh. with your girl, Very she a fan. You just stuck at home with your dick in your hands. I be dirty dancing. I'm stealing all your hoes. You be going broke. You be stealing all your flows. Step into. Your did sort, of, sort of smooth there. Well, not smooth, but like almost like. Oh yeah. So he said, "I be dirty dancing," which is a line from my song. Yeah. And then he followed it up with, "You be stealing all your hoes." Or you, sorry, you be stealing all your flows. So it's like he literally stole my flow, and then the yeah, following yeah, line yeah. was that you steal your flows. But it was almost like that was pretty. Was, slick. That, was that intentional? Probably accidental, though. Yeah, I think he just didn't think about it. But you know, that is that is potentially a like good. rap genius. They could be. Yeah. You know? Like, oh, this is actually a reverse. If we can nurture that, we can make something mm -hmm. out of him. Dirty dancing, I'm stealing all your hoes. You be going broke, you be stealing all your flows. Step into wow. And put your head on a swivel. I make you girls ask go. Jiggle, jiggle. Jiggle, jiggle. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Oh, shit. Yeah, like yeah. jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Yeah, that goes hard. Girls ask go. Jiggle, jiggle. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. What the fuck? Yeah. What's the jiggle, jiggle, yeah, bro? Jiggle, jiggle. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. jiggle. So, damn so all, all. all... The only thing be jiggling is Addison Ray's mom. Let's uh, I think we move on <laughs> after this. But but all I know is that he he did reach out to a lot of of friends of mine asking for like help writing the song or for beats and everything. So I don't think he wrote it. I think someone else someone else did. Someone wrote his ass jiggle and, jiggle jiggle. And I be, I mean I, I he must have had some sort of you I think know. He wrote the chorus. I basically everyone that that hit me up about it was like yo. Do you want me to help him out? I'll give him the worst bars. Ever. <laughs> That's so like, awesome. And like, I mean, the beat it was better than I expected because the beats that they were showing me they're gonna send him were a lot worse. So I mean, at least you know. Dude, that's that's so, so funny. He didn't good. buy it from some website. You actually knew someone that made it for him. In that case, I don't know. Uh, I don't know where he got the final beat from. He he put the murder murder beats tag on it as if oh murder beats had produced God. it. That's so yeah. fucking good, yeah. man. Shout out. You know, man, he's trying. Well, yeah. Anyway, you you did your top five uh, milfs for Barstool. L fucking lame, unoriginal idea. So I have the idea. I want to give you our top milfs, and you can kind of rate them for us, basically. On oh, the, you guys have your top five milfs. Well, okay. I I just want to see get your read on world famous milfs. Okay. Okay. Mhm. Mm so here we have uh, Hillary Clinton swag. Mhm. Mm I prefer Kamala Harris, but I'll take it. Yeah, Kamala. Yeah, Kamala. All right. it. You'd hit it. A lot I'm of just chilling in Cedar Rapids. Nice. A lot of people say that I kind of have a Bill Clinton swag to me. I've oh. Got that like, oh, you're going to look like Bill Clinton when you're older or something? That's a, it's a know, weird compliment. It's like it's weird, but I'll... Bill used to be dope, and now everyone's like, uh... Yeah, I don't really I haven't cuffed up, but yeah. I like Bill, Bill Clinton has mad swag, though. I'll yeah, he does have swag. Uh, G. Lane Maxwell. Who's that? That's G. Lane Maxwell. Uh, uh, Epstein's name, but... uh, paramour, Epstein's uh, accomplice of sex trafficking. Wow. Uh, yeah, I'm she's not... rubbing his foot. That's Epstein's oh, foot. Oh goodness, uh, yeah, dude! Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So she's on my top five. All right. We like what we see. No. Nah. No. Good answer. <laughs> Queen Elizabeth. Hell yeah. The dearly departed. Yeah, I heard. I, I don't pay enough attention to all this, man. Would you? Would you desecrate her corpse? Chill out, man. Oh, sorry. She. <laughs> I think I made a couple little like you know jokes at some point about fucking Queen Elizabeth, but you know, she's out, she's gone now. Yeah, rest um, in peace. Rest yeah. in peace. I, I I didn't hear the best things about her, but you know, she's an icon to me, and uh, I would never disrespect her uh, an icon. memory. Yeah, I would never disrespect her memory because hmm? because I just want to desecrate her corpse, bro. I would never. Okay, I want to desecrate her memory, just her corpse. <laughs> yeah. Uh, word up. Uh, uh, word up, what man. about Queen Elizabeth the first? I don't like that head shape. Not good. That's that incest head shape, boy. Yeah, she looks crazy, man. She looks like the bad guy in Pan's Labyrinth with the finger. For sure, dude. Oh, man. man, that's what happens when you fuck your brother for like 10 generations. Yeah, that is how they were doing it, wasn't mm -hmm. it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm not into that one. Uh, Nancy Pelosi. I don't know what she does, but I've heard her name. She's and the Speaker like of the kids. House. She's a... Speaker of the House. She's kind of a not good or good? Um... Depends who you Depends ask. Who She's a prominent politician with some big old fucking yeah, milkers. Yeah, she has some on her. 
bitch. And how old is she? She really actually. I'm impressed by. She's the, up there. She's in the she's like 78. late 70s. Yeah. She I'm, is 82. Oh, 82. Wow. 82. I'm impressed. Yeah, she's. She can get it. She's out there on full That's display. Pelosi, dude. Bitch, bitch. Uh, we have uh, that's uh, of course Barbara Bush. She looks like she looks like me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, uh, which yeah. So maybe that's a yes. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, she looks kind of like she. I think she'd be the dominant one, you know. Oh, mm. she take control oh, like for she, sure. Yeah, I'm usually you know, I usually in the other other seat, but it, you know, with her it looks a little bit. You'd submit to her. If I was forced to, uh, I yeah. guess. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Yeah. She looks like she can teach you a lesson. She has yeah. steel eyes, man. Yeah. Like those eyes, those are the eyes of a dominatrix. What is she? Like, what is that facial expression, man? She's ready for something. She is. She's, <laughs> like, she's, she's built up. Um, sure. This is, of course, uh, Betty White. Betty White, R.I.P., dude. That's what. I, that's why I named my my song after Betty. Yeah, I would never disrespect Betty. She's a queen. You can't only say anything bad. Yeah. Shout out. Love shout her, out Betty. Uh, Wendy Williams. Um, kind of a milf status. Yeah. She's just hot. saying. Just saying. Yeah. Yeah, we like it. 100%. Okay, good. She's Excellent. my favorite so far. Uh, Mother Teresa, of Mother course. Mother Teresa. <laughs> you know, Man, yeah. uh, uh, lots of controversy around her these days, but uh, she was a saint, apparently. So, you ever fucked a saint? <laughs> I, I can't say I have. There it is. Man. I don't know enough about religion. Maybe I have. <laughs> there it is, Mother Teresa. They're explaining their... Smash your past. She, she's... Smash, yeah. I, I, I need to at this point. I haven't smashed this thing yet. Yeah, yeah, smash. Um, Wendy Williams is number one for you. That's good to know. Yep. Uh, this is, of course, uh, Marjorie Taylor Green. Of course. Am I supposed to know who that is? She's basically, have you seen Attack on Titan? Yes. Yeah, so she's like the, ti she's like. <laughs> the smiling Titan. Yeah, the smiling she's Titan. A tall, she's a tall, She's woman, a nasty, or? evil fuck. Yeah, she's like 30 feet tall. She's a she's just a fucking she's vile. Really tall. Yeah, but but just yeah, a man. I don't know. She kind of looks like like uh, who's the guy? The woo Rick at Rick Flair. Oh, bit. Rick Flair. Yeah. Rick Flair. Oh, oh, interesting. She's like Rick Flair. Yeah, but just she's. she's I don't like her. Yeah, I'm scared okay, of her. Good. good. Yeah. Yeah. Let's yeah. Pass. Sorry, good no answer. offense. Oprah Winfrey. Hell yeah, number one. <laughs> number one. Number Oprah one. all day, every day. My man. Mm -hmm. Wendy Williams, number two. Uh, this of course is Nancy Reagan. There's like a Star Wars character there. Ha! <laughs> she does, bro! Yeah. It's the hair, isn't it? She looks like the captain of uh, some Starfleet. Yeah. It's like Good. Admiral Akbar. <laughs> she looks tight. The, eye, the eyes are kind of far apart, yeah. is that what you mean? Mm -hmm. It's a trop! <laughs> I like her, too. So Nancy Reagan, so, so there we go. We, we I was used... feeling, yeah, Nancy, Oprah, and, and Wendy. Kind of my, my favorite, too. Wow. Excellent. That's <laughs> Mother Teresa. Oh, th this is actually... Base, we actually got a, an image here. Oh, yeah. Queen Elizabeth the first for you. Uh, that's yeah. Tell me it's not pretty accurate. Yeah, now I see it. <laughs> Feels right, man. Uh, oh, man. This of course is Marjorie Taylor Greene. I don't know if uh, yeah, you okay. care to see. Yeah, it. all right. That checks out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it actually kind of does look like her. <laughs> Thank you. I, had, I have a, a song dropping on Friday, which is in two days. Uh, I have a, a line about Attack on Titan in there. Oh. Okay. Uh, just. Tall bitch, I attack on Titan. <laughs> Tall woman. Tall bitch, I attack on Titan. I need a fine VP like Biden. Oh. Kamala Harris reference. Yeah, and then love her. Flip that gold into perp. Right, flip that perp into gold like a Viking, mm -hmm. which is a sports reference, and then double cup ice like Tampa Lightning. Because they got uh, Stanley Cups on the ice. It's wow. like a whole, like... Bars. Yeah, bar. Bar. Hey, uh, Monty, this is how it's done. But that's, uh, yeah, my first line in that song is about Attack on Titan. So that's coming out on Friday. What's it going to be called? Say La Vie. Ooh. Is, is there any, um... It's myself, Baby No Money, and Rich Brian. Oh, Rich Brian. I'm a fr uh, I know him. He's a I good dude. I know that you, you saw a video of me and Baby No Money kissing. Oh, I don't remember. Uh, someone sent me a clip of y'all reacting to it. It was, like, at a Utah, mu say nice Utah Music Festival. Yeah. Okay, oh, good. I think you yeah. might have roasted my rap name a little bit, but you Wait, 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 wait. It was it, wasn't it in a Channel 5 video? Was it, it in a Channel 5 video? Yes, 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 mm -hmm. yes. Oh, shit, I remember. And we were, like, in an interview. You guys were sitting on, like, a park yep. bench. It was yep. me, yes. Yeah. money, and Tip. Okay, good. And, uh... Okay, and yes. At the end I didn't say anything mean, right? No, you didn't. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, this is Tip. I remember Tip. He was all fucking, uh... Yeah, there he is. Friend of the show. Yo, yeah, you guys man. are friends of the show. I didn't realize. Big tip. Yeah. Big yeah. tip. Big tip, man. Hi, I'm Dick Tip. And then, um, 
Here's the one top. F- uh, yeah, Made here. the money. Yep, other fella. Okay, cool. Yeah, sorry I made fun of your name. Was you know what I mean? I take it all back. I think it's all you're, good, dude. I like your name. Thanks, man. Yeah. It's rewind time. <laughs> they, take it all back. There's Jungle Bobby in the corner too, man. Good, good fella. Um, so let's see here. Um, you should get you should get Andrew Callahan on here. The he's a he's guy. a friend of mine. We're in, we we talk. Yeah, he's been on the show. Good. Oh, dude. he has been on it. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, dude, I love him, Good man. Dude. Great dude. He's we taking had, the internet by storm. Right we end up now. crossing paths everywhere. It's great. We were at Stampede in Calgary recently, oh. and you know he's active, man. Yeah. He's like he's so Good well. Dude, man. He's just he's smart, and he's got that documentary coming out that he did with Absolutely Tim and Eric's production company about the January six insurrection. Not, no, that is awesome. I'll Excited be for that. Tuning into that. Also, his Alex Jones interview did that drop yet uh, for the public? I don't believe for the public. I think it's just on his Patreon. Yeah. Some wild Alex yeah. Jones shit lately, man. It's insane. Yeah. So tell me about the song dropping on Friday. Is there any uh, previews out, or is everyone just waiting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a preview. Can I play it? Yeah. I'm. I'm trying to think of where the best. I think I'll get claimed if I play it though. Um. Maybe I'll just. You want to just hum it for us? If I play it off my phone, will it? We'll do that. Yeah, we'll get fucked. That's crazy how that works, but yeah, honestly, my label is pretty bad with the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not your fault. Bit. The labels are are ruthless. So it goes, it goes. Uh, let me live my life, baby. Say la vie. Woo woo. <laughs> yeah. Say la vie. Woo woo. <laughs> That's a good vibe, man. That's Don't... Friday. Friday. It's like a, it's like a surf rock type of vibe to it. It's good. Cool. Another one. Mm-hmm. You dream of working with DJ Khaled at all or not? <laughs> I'd I'd love to hang out with him. He seems like a funny guy. Uh, making music together probably could be cool. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Fuck with DJ Khaled. Uh, I want to uh, t- tell me about um, where, I want to know like where you are where you're from where you born, Rochester, Minnesota. Okay, Minnesota, small town. I don't uh, know Rochester. Not necessarily is. small. It's like you know you got the Twin Cities, Minneapolis, St. Paul, and then the next biggest city after that is Rochester. So I, okay, I want to say okay, like okay. 150k people. Um, we have the Mayo Clinic there, which people might have heard of. It's like the biggest, best hospital in the in the world, pretty okay, much. So okay, we're kind of like surround around that hospital Medical and um, shit. yeah man it's kind of like uh how i describe it. like sm- smallish town just some country kids some like you know a lot of skater kids and mm. uh shitty drugs and oh. and um overall good place though really good place to grow up and um what when did you decide like that you wanted to start doing music when i was in college so so after i graduated from high school i went to university of wisconsin mm-hmm. madison and I was there for two years before I like, you know, I was trying everything. Like I changed mm. my major a bunch. I was like starting all these little businesses. And um, finally when I was working at that startup accelerator and I was helping all these companies like market their stuff and watching them blow up, I, I actually helped with, with, with Eat Street, which ended up becoming like basically what Uber Eats mm. uh, copied. So like I was one of the really early brands that was doing that food delivery stuff. I was watching these brands do all this and I was like, man, I, like, I played a part in that and I think I could do that for myself so mm. I, was, I was a big fan of all these soundcloud rappers and i you know just took the time and i was i was taking a ton of classes and i had a job and i was running this like pizza company thing i could get into later <clears throat> and, and then i just the rest of my time was on rap man i was really motivated you're an entrepreneur it sounds like always hustling looking yeah. to come up like a interesting legit entrepreneur yeah you know? and so it's was the rap or the rapping is that how you would refer to it what you it, call that yeah. or was that uh like another entrepreneurial angle for you? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, once I started, I knew that I really wanted to do it, but I, I had low confidence in the fact that it might actually do something. So, you know, but I, it was just fun for me, and I had like a goal to, you know, at least like get big enough to maybe interact with some of the artists that I really liked. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And uh, so, yeah, for the first two years, I, I didn't show my face or anything. I was just you know grinding on soundcloud that was the real soundcloud rap era soundcloud youtube everything and uh yeah right before i graduated it, it kind of blew up and um i got a tour all set up got signed everything and and 10 days after i graduated i got on tour so over those two years when you're posting on soundcloud was there like little successes or did it all just happen at once it's it's a slow it was a slow, slow burn. growth yeah baby no money and I the dude I was kissing on that that video uh, kind of came up together from the start and um, 
hey man, it's like you'd have little like group chats and you'd like send each other your songs. Yeah, you'd, you'd like repost them for each other and like. So did you have some fans just kind of like slowly building up fans? Yeah, and yeah. there was a lot of hardcore fans even from back then that like still come to shows like the 2017 and and earlier ones. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, man, it just it was just a slow <laughs> slow growth, but but it, like always exponential. It would always get faster and faster, right. and then. And then once I dropped that video and revealed my face and I like started really going at it, it was it was it took off it took big off time. big time. Yeah, interesting. And um, what was it? What do your parents think about all this? Uh, interestingly, because you went to, it sounds like you didn't really have any intention of becoming an artist until yeah. later in life. And I and I didn't tell um, my mom until. I didn't tell anybody really when I first started rapping. I was embarrassed about it, so I didn't tell right. anybody. Why were you embarrassed? I just didn't want to be the guy who's like forcing music the, on somebody, you know. The mixtape guy. Oh, yeah, I don't want to be that guy. I wasn't really embarrassed. Like I, I, I thought it was good and I liked it, but I just didn't want to force on anybody. Um, so my mom actually ended up finding finding out like from somebody else who didn't realize she didn't know. And huh. A few of my friends figured it out. I was like, oh, mom, this, I got a long, uh, long story for so you. So how long were you doing it before your mom found out? Probably a year at least, a year, maybe a year, and a, half, year and a half. Yeah, Kept yeah, that yeah. a secret. Yeah, man, but what? she she's a huge fan now. Um, my dad passed when I was 16, but I know he'd probably be a, I'm sure he's if, if looking down and, and, and digging what's going on here. Uh, my mom still comes to shows. <laughs> she's been to at least like 10 of them. Was your mom pissed that you kept it a secret from her for a no, year? No, 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 she got it. I mean, like, I think she understood. She's really, we're really tight. Really tight. Yeah. Were you, uh, uh, do you mind if I ask you questions about your dad? No, go ahead. How did he pass away? Uh, when I was 16, he was walking, he, he was a lot older. Yeah. Uh, had a family, family before. My mom so I have half siblings that are uh, a lot older. Mm -hmm. My dad was, let me think, he'd be 89 now. Oh, wow. Um, so he was, I think, seven, it's almost been, yeah, it's been it's been a, almost exactly ten years. Uh, Seventy nine. Was walking by a dog. You know, Minnesota's ice. He fell and hit his head on the ice. Oh man! And uh, didn't think much of it. And then later that night, he just started getting crazy headaches. And I was at over oh. at a friend's house, and I like, didn't really know what was going on. My mom called me like, "Oh, dad is is going to the hospital because he's having, you know, these weird headaches and can't see right." And I, I don't know for some reason I just knew I was like, "Man, this is not not good." Whoa! So like, I rushed there ASAP. And he had he had internal bleeding in his brain, mm -hmm. um, and just passed right that night. Fuck, yeah. that's scary. Yeah, it was wild, man. And and it was like a, I was sixteen, um, kind of still figuring out who I was, and my mom like kind of shut down after it. Uh, she had, um, I don't know, it was it was really hard on her, and and she was like, I mean, he was just her best friend, and she didn't really know where to go forward. So I kind of had to grow up really fast and take care of the the house and handle all this stuff and I was trying to get into college at the same time but it kind of it did kind of motivate me where I was like oh, I need to make him proud I really want to like you know mm. show him that I can still do this were um, you very close with him yeah yeah you guys were tight yeah so that must have been both like I mean obviously losing a parent's devastating but people have different relationships with their parents uh -huh. I think it hits some people harder than other people so it hit yeah. you really hard yeah yeah it was hard but I, I was in a good, I guess a good, a good mind space where I kind of, kind of use it as like motivation. I was like, man, like things happen. He, he was a lot older, so I knew it was coming. And then it was like, yeah, well, at least he didn't have to like suffer through something long. Mm. And I had like a few good friends who had had parents pass away, and I like had people that I could really relate mm. to. Um, and just turning that into a, a motivating thing rather than a, a negative thing, I think helped me get through it. And being able to support my mom like i ended up help starting to help. that's some of the first business experience i had was i was helping her with mm. her business when she was kind of like distraught was there was there financial issues once your dad passed a little bit yeah not not, not crazy he, he he worked for the mayo clinic but that hospital oh, was, was thing, and they, they have a good like uh psychologist okay okay yeah. that's so a, that they yeah. have good like programs for life insurance and everything um so it was a little bit but not 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 crazy not crazy did you feel like you had to like work to support like the household though not, not money wise not necessarily i mean dude i was like a i worked at a pharmacy and i was a, mm -hmm. a weed dealer so I, like i wasn't making enough money for that but uh you were a weed weed dealer at a pharmacy not at the same time <laughs> I, I was a delivery delivery driver at a pharmacy literally bringing drugs to people to like old people's that's what's up places 
but then I also just yeah. Sold I used weed. to sell weed too. Yeah, yeah dude. Yeah. Every, but, no, it's a it's a good first. It's a big hustle. part. Yeah, yeah, but, definitely. Uh, <laughs> but it, it was more, more like emotional support for my mom and helping her with all of her stuff. Um, but man, yeah, that was a big thing for me. But got through it, and I think you know, happy how everything came out. Damn. Yeah. Good job, man. You you did it. Thank you. <laughs> I'm definitely a lot bigger than I ever expected. Like, like I said, when I first started rapping, it was my goal was kind of to interact with some artists that I liked, which was like Currency, a rapper, um, Freddie Gibbs, another rapper that I like a lot. And then like, I got 10 times bigger than I expected. I'm mm -hmm. talking to them, I, you know, collab with my favorite artists and it, it feels awesome. Yeah, yeah, your name seems pretty you, like ubiquitous, 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 thank you, lately. How are you still like aiming higher? Like what's your, what's your uh, ambition here? I, I really liked where I was at um, before Betty dropped. I mean, I, I'm very happy where I'm at now, but, but it's a little bit, a little bit too much. It's a little stressful. You think it's too much fame? A little bit. Oh, that means you're going to become more famous. Um, going to like anywhere, can't really go anywhere. You get it's recognized just, I, I crazy. I plan around like oh. where I go and stuff around it. You get mobbed when you go out in public? Yeah. Pretty, oh, wow. Pretty often, especially. It you stand out, bro. You're like that's, super that's, tall. Yeah, I stand out. Yeah. And How tall are you? Six, seven. And like that's people, uncommon and if people hear yeah. my voice or like see my face up close it's like pretty pretty clear um but it, but it's good man i love i love the support and like the fans are usually pretty wholesome sometimes, usually usually i mean so i'm they're always good but sometimes if it's like someone's a little young they don't really like understand manners and they're like, uh, oh, like i was taking a huge bottle of a glizzy the other day at the airport <laughs> this chick pulled up and she's like hey can i get a picture of you and like i think she took a picture of me don't you the... don't you find it weird when they they don't want to take a picture with you they just want to take a that's, picture of you that's very rare but when it happens i'm like i, I always find that oh, really odd. okay yeah all righty um so so yeah man I, I love the success and it's cool to hear my song on the radio and see like yeah. new countries loving it like i think it's number one in the philippines oh right shout now, out which, which is cool love that um but uh you know, I, I I like where I'm at. I, I think if I got much much bigger than this, it would be a, a little too much. Mm. Um, and I you know I don't I don't I like what you know I like having money and I like having it come in, but like I'm very comfortable and I don't you know. Aside from if, if my music gets bigger, all that, that there is is more money and fame, and those cause stress. So I'm I'm chilling right now. There it is, guys. You heard it from Young Gravy. Mo money, mo problems. Yeah, so when you're coming up, though, you like your entrepreneurial spirit, was it, were you looking for money or fame or just money or just success in general as some kind of, like, to prove to yourself and maybe just thinking about your dad, it seems like, that you wanted to it's part of it. be successful? Was it, was it, uh, what more, was it you were chasing? More just having a lifestyle and a job that I could really love and enjoy. Hmm. You know, like, I wanted to, I've always wanted to travel for work, so at one point I wanted to be a pilot and, and do some type of work that's creative and and you know i can work with people that are like-minded and, and i ended up just you know finding the perfect job for that now i travel right. way too much you like it you like, like the it. touring because most artists i talk to hate it i like it i like it but but it gets to be a lot i mean this has been like my biggest year of touring so far and like dude it's 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 crazy how many shows we end up doing which is how many shows you've done so far this year do you know <clears throat> i think let me think a lot of them were right before the year at least 100 yeah, at least, at least 100. Yeah, I mean, I mean, within the past That's year what, yeah. from now, not yeah. like in 2022, but like a year from, yeah, you know what I'm saying? 100 at least. That's got to be nice, though, getting like that, that guacamole. It's it's Just definitely... making it, you know, like... Yeah, there's definitely a little pile of guacamole yeah, yeah. in there, but I mean, we got another 40 before the year's over, so it's it's a little, a little bit much. 40 more. Shit. I want to say something like that, because we, I think I got a bunch of college shows this next month, and then full tour with Baby No Money, Smooch Boy. And um, I don't know. I don't know what you just said. Baby, no money. This guy that I smoked. Yeah, I just, I'm just, <laughs> dude. These names. All the rappers got like pretty wild. I. This is so boomer energy, bro. But it's like, I have a hard time memorizing the names of these rappers these okay. days. Boomer money. Little but, little gritty. <laughs> boomer money. That would <laughs> be a fire know. name, dude. <laughs> it's actually a sick name. I don't know, man. I can't do it. But that's so boomer of me. But yeah. It's all good, dude. How old are you? 40. No. <laughs> I'm 37. These guys always make fun of me. I was going to say 41. I was going to say 41. Uh, 
No, I'm 37. 37. 37. All right. I think it was just, you know, I got no, the, I know, I know. Right it's not. Guys, <laughs> take that off the stream. Yo, yo, yo. Guys, take that off. Uh, it's just right in my line of sight. And, you I know, know it's, it's a lot of gray. And I just, but, but I've been. And I've Life's been not been easy for me, man. I've been a fan for a long time. So, you know, it just you have seems been? Like, a, like you've been around, you know. I have been around. Yeah, Vape Nash, man. Vape Nash <laughs> all day, every day. Yeah, man. We love it. Love. So, tip, how long you been with Tip? Big Tip, come here, man. I want to talk to you. Come here, dog. Can I? No, come, oh, yeah, I guess that's fine. You can chill there. That's, uh, you look like Anthony Kiedis. You ever hear that? Ooh. Yeah, that's hard. That's fire. That, did, did, you hear, must hear that all the time, right? Every now and then. I mostly get... Uh, Steve Aoki? Nah, who's the uh, Russian what? dude? Oh, Tommy Cash? <laughs> Tommy Cash, which I do not <laughs> like very much. You guys have a lot in common, cool. but you're, you're a little pretty. Thank yeah. you, bro. Thank yeah, so, so, so when did you guys start working together? What's your guys' story? Um, we started in like 2019. Mm hmm. When, and are you? Like, yeah. Going he, he, was, he was a known DJ in Minnesota booking a lot of shows. When I was in high school, oh, I knew of him. Okay. And I went to a show that he, he, he put on. And I had a DJ that I kind of came up with in Madison. And then, like, literally, we, we split up because our girlfriends had beef with each other. And it was the dumbest thing. But I'd like, it was like I had to change his contact name in my phone. Damn. And I was like texting him. Like, forbidden homie. Like we're like still boys, <laughs> but like our girlfriends hate each other. So like, why did why did the girls hate each other so much? I, it was just some dumb like petty. I, I huh. couldn't even tell you exactly why. But uh, so so we 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 parted ways for a bit, and then I needed somebody, and I hit a tip, and then it was just the perfect chemistry, and we've been grinding so, since. So what is the relationship between you guys exactly, Tip? What what is it you do for Gravy? I just like help him with everything like creative, I guess, or like he'll ask me some like random shit, and I'll just tell him like what's good, what's bad. He he did a lot of it himself though. Like I, all of his creative shit is him, I, which I, I think is so awesome and it's so like commendable. His whole aesthetic, he made it himself. I'm, like it's cool. What does that mean, creative stuff? He, do you you help? Does he help you with music I, I and think, stuff? I think a lot of it is is if if. I'm too busy and something comes in, I know that Tip thinks like I do, so like things will go to him first and he'll help clean it up or like we'll kind of On the music on side, so you guys work on, together No, more on like social media stuff. Oh, okay, he helps okay, me. Like, okay, okay. A lot of times we'll go to the studio see, together and we'll throw our ideas together. But uh, but yeah, I mean he's, he's the DJ, so he does every show with me. Oh. Uh, we, we hang out a lot as well and work on other things. It's just like, you know. Big Tip. Well, yeah, it's man. like It's like when you tour with somebody too, like you become family, like right away. Right. You spend every day with somebody, it's like, mm -hmm. you know. We fight and bicker and, you know, get kiss. shit done. Yeah, yeah, kiss yeah sometimes man, kiss. and shit yeah, like man. that, dance. So you like touring, Tip? Is, how's that life no, been for you? No, no, oh, you no, don't no, like no, it? No. You like it when we're on the bus, no? I, no, I have fun, like, on stage, but it's so, like, because I'm a homebody. I like I like being at home. I, I, like, love, like, the show aspect, but just the traveling aspect is, like... It's exhausting. It's exhausting, I man. See. So, like, everything other than that, I love about it. But like, I don't know. It's it's so cool though. It's so baller. It's yeah, it is baller. baller. You guys job. are living that life. So. We just did what we do. How many people in Madison? Like twelve thousand. Damn. They, 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 I think they expected two thousand, and they they put us up right by the Capitol, and then they had they had Daughtry on the other side. You know Daughtry. We faded did. Daughtry. Yeah. We were and shitting they, on Daughtry. There was this whole big Capitol block in Madison, but everyone kind of crowded around my area. Yeah. And there was there was six times as many people as I expected. That's got to feel good. It was really cool. I, I, I started tearing up at the end because I started playing my song Betty and they knew all the words right away. Oh. And I, I teared up a little bit because oh, that's, that, that's my college town. So that was where I went to college. Oh, damn. It was my first homecoming in a while. That's beautiful. Yeah, actually. it was that's sick. Really nice. it, was really, it was really sick. It was really that's got to be crazy, though, when you start selling shows that big. Like, it's just a whole nother scale, you know? Mm -hmm. a, lot, a lot of the ones lately have been, have been wild like that. And it's, it's, it's cool to see that. There are a lot of new fans that will come in because they've heard Betty. We're all, I think a big part of the crowd ends up being like the boyfriend of the girl that's a big fan, you know, mm. a, a lot of stuff like that. But no, but there's every show, it's dope to still see all the OGs that were like, I can play a deep cut and all the words. It hasn't started the, I missed the old gravy yet. Nah, nah, there's, I'll see comments like that on occasion. It's like, man, like, you miss when I could literally sample anything and put all these little exactly. little things in there by breaking the law, and, and now I can't do that because <laughs> right, it, right, yeah, right, right. won't come out. So, Wow. Yeah. Fans are cool. They're supportive. That's good, man. I think TikTok's been a big part of your 
I don't want to say success, but like as someone who's not super connected with the music world, I see your sh- you and people talking about you with like the Edison Ray stuff on TikTok all the time, and your music too, right? As people late, sample your yep. music a lot there. As of late, when I I mean I've been posting on occasionally on TikTok because my songs have done well on there in the past, and then when Betty was coming out, I just started posting more. I was like, let's just try to really push this, um, which wasn't really like me. I don't like to like mm. over saturate and like really push something hard but i said let's let's try it and then like it was good timing where like there's a lot of these like this trend kind of started where people would try to pitch their moms to me Mm -hmm. and all this stuff which was kind of funny kind of weird but kind of funny funny yeah um and then take anyone up on that i did i did actually i took you i uh, it it was for a a contest that i did yeah where the it was if you make a uh see I'm, i'm really not into the contest thing either but i thought i'd just try it but the, the number one thing was, it was like, oh, you pre-save the song, you make a video with it, and then like, I'll FaceTime five people, mm-hmm. and then the number one winner, I'll go on a date with their mom. Damn. What? And so, I did. So was this a single mom? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and and and, and how old was she? 37. Oh, wow. 37, yeah. That's my age, bro. There's a cute video of, of the date you could probably find. Okay, wait, it was, and it was then, very sweet, it was a sweet. And then, like Addison Ray's mom, did you guys uh, uh, have a quiet moment in the room together, or me and the other mom uh, fucked? Oh, that's just straight up. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you're proud to say. Yeah, I'm happy to say. I think it's wow. Very, very Hold that up. I gotta see who public, this mom is. Public information. I think her son actually like even mentioned. Did it. you fuck in their home? No, no. Oh, no, you no, took no, her no. to a. Yeah. That'd be kind of epic to do it like at the. Would be with like a thin wall to the kids' room. That's ah, fucked up, man. Come on now. <laughs> Look at that laugh. That's the demon laugh, dude. <laughs> yeah, that Damn laugh man. is crazy, bro. Yeah. Oh, uh, come on. Yo. You found uh, the video? It's on my TikTok and it's, it's, uh. The, they'll pull it up. Yeah. The, cool. Yeah. No, it's, 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 Tip, it's, you getting on the MILF action? Are you, get, are you getting left out here, Tip? No, I'm kind of wiped up, man. Oh, you have a wife or a no, committed relationship? Like a, yeah, yeah. You Good know. for you, man. Yeah, you got, you got a wife, right? Yeah, I'm married. Oh, yeah. Two kids, two boys. Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm on that family I'm out life. Of the loop, man. Nice. Congrats. Yeah, I know. A lot's happened, huh? Good Thank for you. you. Man. Yeah, my kids are great. I love it so much. What are their names? Theodore and Bruce. Like I Batman. love the name he's, Bruce. He's, yeah, that's Batman. sick. Batman. My I, had, wife, I had an alter ego, uh, Bruce Buttercrisp. That was. Oh, I like that. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah my wife hates because Bruce was my idea, and I love Batman, and so she hates this idea that like we named him after Bruce Wayne. So we say it's not about Bruce Wayne, but I know it is Bruce Wayne. Yeah, there you go. But she doesn't like when I say what other that. Other good Bruces are there out there. Bruce, There's a lot. Bruce Lee. Springsteen Lee. This is a strong name. Tons of great Bruces, but nobody's naming their kid Bruce. Bruce Willis. Bruce, Bruce Willis. Willis. I have the same birthday as him. All right, scroll on a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna put it here. So Good. it's right here. Yeah. So the so people can yeah, see it here. Chat. Goodness gracious. Um, scroll on a little bit. Uh, good golly. Oh, right there with the to the right of your of your clicker with the this red. One? Yeah, there it is. There it is. There it is. Oh shit. It's hey cute. baby, it's Young Gravy here with an update on the Betty contest. The first place prize went to Jet and his mother Meredith. I promised to take the winner on a or their mother on a date, and uh, here's how it went. I gotta see. You gonna go find a romantic place to hang out? You feel me? Let's go for a little walk. Dude, yeah, this is so wild. Here, you know. <laughs> yeah, right? I'm put a little in the Charlie. <laughs> Dude, oh, what the fuck? You, this is wild. <laughs> yeah, cool. Good day. Dude, you guys had a good ass time. Eyes. What? Yeah, it was cute though, nice. man. We got along really well. How did you know that it was great. gonna be like a awesome. fun milf and not like you could because the milf can go a lot of different ways, you know? Well there was a few I mean there was a few dope videos that I've looked at and I like kind of had them send me the social media of their mothers and it was like like I was picking out of the very best, but then it was like she just looked like a fun person. Okay, so you knew you picked the one yeah. that you knew you wanted to bed. To date. Yeah, to date. Mm-hmm. Right, right, right. Indeed. Um Wow. It's cute. She's a sweetheart. This is incredible. She's a sweetheart. This, we're, we're you guys still in touch? Yeah. yeah Seems like you guys had a really good connection. Yeah, we're still in touch, and, and her son's a big fan, too. I think... Oh, my goodness. You look at the comments, the son's in there, like, hyping it up, too. Wow. I'm going to bring too much attention to it, but yeah. 
So he has no like uh, vengeance towards you. No, he set it up, dude. Yeah, he set it up. He's it, your wingman, in and this he's case. hyping it up, man. Yeah. So he wanted you to fuck his mom. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's single and ready to mingle. Why not? Yeah. You know, sweetheart. Damn, gravy! You live in some kind of life. Okay. Incredible. Tip. What do you think about this? I was just gonna say, I think they'd probably rather have him as a stepdad than some, <laughs> you know, Joe Schmo. He's not into stepdad though. I already tried that. Well, well he you know, like, be a, like an uncle, a stand uncle, in, like a st- uncle like that. wouldn't make sense. Uncle, really. te- uh, uncle Gravy, like, like, a, he, like a stand-in, you know, like a temp, like a, like a foster temp. dad. Yeah, he just needs to find yeah. the right milf. Not really foster because you have to adopt them. Or no, no, foster dad. We could say stepdad. Pseudo you know. dad. Yeah, temporary. He's step-dad. the dad that stepped up, man. Yeah, the dad that stepped up. You gonna pay for this kid's college or what? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> you gonna see? You gonna start taking care of this I kid? I think they're pretty, pretty well off. Dude. That's pretty you know? funny, man. You know, things keep relationship formed. Maybe you never know. Hey, Ethan, you look kind of like Bruce Valanche, man. Let me Google that because I don't know anyone. Oh, no. <laughs> Is you talking shit, Trip? Bruce, Bruce Falange. Trip. He's talking shit right now, dude. Trip. Let's Damn. go. You tripping, bro. You're trip now. Bruce Falange. I don't know how to spell. Let's see. Are you fucking, oh, bro? Are man. you serious? Yeah, he got your ass. That looks like your aunt Shelly. Why would you bro? even say that, that bro? That does look like Shelly. Looks like <laughs> your aunt Shelly more than him, dog. Come on. Yeah, yeah, that's fucked bro, up. why would you even say that no, after I said one. you look like Anthony Kiedis? <laughs> I know I got you fucked. It doesn't up. even no, look, look second, anything look like the second one. You basically just thought of the ugliest dude you <laughs> no, could, I and then said I looked like him. There's I no resemblance. Bruce. What about what about Shia LaBeouf? Do you ever get that? I don't. But but I can see that's, that. I, that's not like insulting. You're yeah. like, yo, you look like a fucking like. <laughs> <laughs> come on, bro. I think I look more. like, If you combine us and add a little extra, I didn't on, know dude. you what looked the like that. What are you trying to say? <laughs> Wait, I didn't know you looked like that. <laughs> he, was, he was thinking about old, hey, my old, bad. Nah, old I'll, outdated. Fucking uh, Mrs. Thurman. What the hell, uh, this is, You picked a bad picture, man. Yeah, man. You got a bad. On, okay, now. let me find the I best one. Nah, look. There, there's a good picture. Yeah, let me find yes, the best one. Right there I'll with the glasses one, and the smile, man. Right below that. This one? Yeah, look yeah, at here, that. Here, here. Yeah, thanks, there we man. Go. Thanks, yeah, bro. that's what Looks like your aunt, bro. I'm telling you. No, it does. That's fucked up. Hey, tell him what. Oh, my God. Tell him what my aunt said on FaceTime. What'd she say? Remember when. When Sherry was in the car. Oh, what'd she say? You, you just say it. I don't know. Yeah, so I FaceTimed my aunt after the VMAs, and she's watching the VMAs live, and Sherry's in the car. She doesn't know. I'm Sherry's on the phone with my aunt, and she's like, wow, the VMAs were crazy. Who's that old bitch she who was with? <laughs> and she could hear That's it. That's funny. But she had, a, she had a good sense of humor about she's it. She was, like, she was like, oh, yeah, That's I'm old. It's, I don't care. So it's cool. Yeah, his aunt's kind of crazy, man. She's, She's really crazy. crazy. And she apparently looks like that guy. She looks more like Bruce Valanche than you. I'm going to okay, right. concede and, and, on and, that yeah. one. And would she be offended by that or cool, uh, cool about She'd that? Be, I think she, she probably, wouldn't like it that much, fuck, but she, she has a good... She roasts people. That's, you know... Yeah. You got to take the good with the bad with the roastage. I can see the Shia LaBeouf a little bit, no? I'll take Shia LaBeouf, bro. Yeah. Just don't tell me I look like some melted old fucking, like, hunk of... <laughs> Whatever that thing was. I mean, no offense. I mean, hey, yeah, that's <laughs> come on. Yeah, man. you kind of you did him a little dirt. I don't think he he was talking about old school throwback yeah, yeah, Bruce yeah, yeah, Falange. Yeah. Falange. He's got better pictures, man. You just got to find. You got to look. Bro, I looked hard. I did not see any good Bruce Falange <laughs> bro, pictures. Bro, I'm, I'm talking yeah, Hollywood squares, bro. I'm, no, I'm not going to recover from this, man. I mean, he comes here calling me 49. You're calling me Bruce Falange. <laughs> I graciously, I graciously opened my studio to you guys. This hey, is the respect. Everybody else put the 40 up, man. We was about to forget about it. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's your team, man. Bruce Valanche, good picks. <laughs> Bruce Valanche, uh, people sexy. are gonna be people are never gonna drop that now. I'm Bruce Valanche forever, bro. Bruce Valanche, our fans are relentless bitch. like that. <laughs> yeah. So, um, all right. Uh, what else? I mean, yeah, we saw the prolapse. We saw the uh, Steve will do it. Jerks off his dog. That was crazy. Yeah, that was crazy. Back. Kind of. Kind of. Right. Uh, you got any opinion about like you follow any of these stories like Adam Levine's? I'm not. I guess. Nope. Yeah, you don't care about any of that. Cheated on his wife or something? I I don't really know. I find it hard to follow. Was this interesting to you, Olivia? I think if anyone, should yeah. Start, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I loved it. Just like what were you gonna say? I was just gonna say like why is it? Di- I mean, obviously they're not gonna pick every single person who cheated on their wife, but like he, you know. Go he, ahead. He's. I guess the, now that I said, but to say it, it kind of sounds negative. But just you know, he, why do people care 
Not it sounds like I'm defending him cheating, but just like like I don't go ahead. I don't know what what I, what I was trying to get at. Just you know, I don't Say care it, about Adam Levine enough to know if he's but cheating. But hold or not. on, what about the fact that he wanted to name his newborn son after his mistress? He asked her after they broke up. He was like, hey, "What was her how name? How do you feel about me naming my son Sumner?" Wait, so so what was her name? Sumner. Sumner, and That's then he like wanted to name Sumner. Are you sure it wasn't Summer? I'm positive. Positive. Okay. And then he wanted to name his son Sumner. Sumner. And asked her permission after they broke up. Like much later. I guess. I guess what I was trying to say <laughs> <laughs> is just they're they're kind of just creating more issues for the the woman. You know, I mean the, his his was, wife for everyone who was who was cheated on. Now it's all over, and now she's just you know it's gonna be. Yeah, life but forever it, by like uh, blowing it up on the internet. It's I true. Seen a lot, of, a lot of it. It's true, but, but at the same time, they should just have like a section in the newspaper of like these are the people that cheated this week, and then it's like <laughs> if you want to go check it out, you got Adam Levine next to all the normies. Hey, can we have Matt read him flirting? Who like, flirting? Like, uh, wasn't it Adam Levine when he's like they leaked his messages? What he said. Oh, should that's, we, should that's we like what's a, going viral. Like a fanfic oh, yeah. read real quick, like you and me. Like well, I got the girl on the go. Oh, I've got the I got the messages here. We can do that. Is this what you're referring to? Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, all right. Here we go. It here is go. truly unreal. How no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm Adam. No, Levine. I'm Adam Levine. Right. No, Matt has to be. Adam okay, Levine. you can be Adam Levine. We'll, we'll let it slide. The, Bruce. It is truly unreal how fucking hot you are. Like it blows my mind. I mean, I, I think the same. <laughs> Seeing you in person, I was like. I'm fucked. <laughs> no, you are 50 times hotter in person. Sex. And so am I. Oh my god, that dude said that about himself? <laughs> what a maniac. Ugh. Crying laughing emoji. Yeah, no, I didn't think the shoulder could be intensified. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of getting cut off, but whoa, this, is, this, so is, fucking, this yeah. is a lot. This is crazy. The and so am I, ha ha, is insane. Well, man. you got to find the, the booty one. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, Trip, does this look like me? <laughs> yeah, this, I this found is a that good, picture, This is a good right? photo on, of him, man. right? This is, this is a good photo. He's happy, bruh. Okay. Let him live. I'm not letting you. <laughs> he can live his life, bro. I'm, 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 Come on now. It's All just right. such an odd comparison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did me so dirty, bro. I'll never forgive you. Alright. All right. Um, hey, I found I, you know who's my your celebrity look alike? Him? Yeah, I just I, I said Anthony Kiedis originally, but there's so many. You I actually have out. one that's just right on the money here. Does this remind <laughs> you? This, this guy looks just like you, bro. Sloth from the Goonies. <laughs> Is, uh, you see the resemblance hey, or not? Nah, hey, Matt, you know what you be pulling up. Huh? Oh, I know what I be pulling yeah. up. You know, let me, He's let me got put... a better one. Wait, what do you want me to look up? This is when, when Tibbs pissed me off. I, I put him on this, you know the Salacious Chrome? Salacious Chrome? Salacious Chrome. It's L S A S A L A C I. There you go. This is more. Oh, yeah. Vibe, yeah, man. I see that. This I picture see. right here is kind of my, my go-to. I'm a <laughs> Yeah, that's a banger right Yo, there. Yo, no, I see the resemblance, you know uh, Tip. That's dub. You know, when he's really in demon mode, that's <laughs> that's what I see. This is goblin mode, Tip. Salacious. Crumb. Sitting right on Jabba's shoulder. Yeah, man. Oh, that's the little dude who sat on Jabba. Mm -hmm. Yeah, his little buddy. I didn't even know he had a name. Salacious Crumb? I think that means, hor I think Salacious means horny. And I don't know what crumb, I mean. Salacious means like scandalous, I think, or. What does Salacious mean, anyone know? Uh, yeah, more like uh, scandalous or uh, yeah, salacious. Juicy. He looks pretty scandalous. Yo, that man's seen shit, yo. Mm, I'm seeing sexual, uh, relating to sexual matters. Oh, yeah. okay. Mm. Let's see, salacious. Uh, having or conveying undue or inappropriate interest in sexual yeah, manners. Being horny when you shouldn't sexual be. Mm. Yeah, uh -huh. being horny. He's a little horny crone. A salacious sexual story. Sexual desire of any sort. A little horny gremlin. Now, a, a, a absurd, obscene little gremlin. Uh, tip, your response. I see it. I'm not <laughs> mad not, at he it. not I even see deny it. it. Oh, yeah. Here, let's look at more of these Adam Levine DMs because yeah, they're actually I'll pretty read, epic. Read some more of these. Let's get it. We saw this one. Uh -huh. Levine. <laughs> Levine. Levine. So she didn't even send the booty yet, and he said, "Fuck." I may. He goes, "I may need to see the booty." She responds, "No booty." Fuck. <laughs> she, Fuck, bro. Wait, where did you see that? It was on another one. She just flat out denies it. I need that. to see. This is Adam. Okay, this guy's like the fam most famous dude. 
one of the most famous dudes. And this man is, he's married too, bro. Uh, That's man. a lot. And it's off his, pers- his, his actual Instagram and everything. He makes good music too, man. That's kind of sad. Fuck! Dude. Ah. I mean, yeah, I mean, it is kind of interesting because look, the guy's got it all, right? His wife, Victoria's Secret model. He's got this amazing career. He's hot. Family. Dude, insanely good looking. Worst tats, I think. His tats are pretty... Oh, shit. This is the next Yeah, uh, I'm logged into your account, so you may have not seen this, but apparently... I sent that to him. Oh, he goes... Responded holy, to your I story. I sent this to Adam, and he goes, holy fuck. Holy, holy fucking fuck. That body of yours is absurd. Yeah, he liked that. Actually, yeah. lots of love for my body on the subreddit. Uh, mm-hmm. The bears were coming out in force, I'll have you know. The bears? That, like, like stock market bears or, like, sex No, sex bears, bears like... Uh, from the gay community. Like, yeah. Well, they I think they're saying you're a bear. Yeah. Yes. Right. Be a the bear. bear lovers, if you will. The bear lovers are right. coming for me. Call yeah. me Yoga, bitch, because I'll be your bear. I'll be a bear. A good rhyme for you. Call me Yoga. Yoda. You'll have to work. You'll have to workshop Yogi? a little bit. Yogi. Right. Yeah, Yogi. Yogi. There you yeah, go. Yeah, there yeah. You, you go. Can workshop that a little bit. Mm-hmm. Just give you the concept. You do the rest. Okay. Amen. Thank you. Moving on. It's just the same ones. Oh, he says. How are you such an hourglass, my god? Oh, no, a, no boot. This is so embarrassing. How are you talking like this? You're a grown-ass man with a family. He's talking like a damn middle schooler. I may need to see the booty. I think that's the only one I could... I maybe <laughs> have said that before, you know? I okay. think everything else, the holy fuck. I and may. The like, holy fucking fuck. <laughs> that's not really my... But, you know, I'm... I mean, I, you know, it's, it's more casual. Like, you know, I forgive show me the booty, it. It's like... This. I may need to see the booty. You know? I forgive like, it for you. You're a single man. Yeah, okay. you're, you're yep. texting. You know, you're on the market. Everybody knows the score. I feel like he might have had some post not clarity. After some post coital uh, clarity. I must say that I've had some post coital regrets about yeah, that phrase. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jordan Peterson. You, you know who that is? Yeah, I, I did a um, uh, podcast with his daughter. Are you fucking Michaela. serious? I did yeah. I didn't know anything. Did about you him. really? Wait, I hold did, on. Yeah. How was that? It was cool. I mean, it wasn't really weird at all. It was like, I mean, it, it was very um, did professional, you guys, like talking about like business stuff and. Did you guys talk? Different. You guys talk about like um, the meaning of life or anything? Nothing about Welcome politics, to my ship. really. Did she talk? Did you guys talk about all meat diet? No, we didn't talk about any of that. Yo, thirty thousand views. I mean, come on, you're better than that. I know, but it was a while ago, man. Oh, it was a while ago. Yeah, because she's not. She, you know, I, it, it was very like not. You know, I was not a fitting guest for that particular. No, project. not at all. That's what I found so interesting. But it was—I uh, think she was just a fan, and I—I I thought she was hot, and we did it. Wait, what? You don't think she's? I mean, you said we did it. Did you? No, no, we did okay, the podcast. Okay, I was like, we, we oh, no, no, no. you fuck everybody you meet. No, I think she's cuffed. I think she's cuffed. Yeah, yeah, yeah she's no, beautiful. I she think... she only eats meat. Did you know that? That's why. Damn, I feel like a fiend right there. Oh, moly. You don't like it? Well, I just look like I'm on drugs. Nah. What's wrong with my eyes? Oh yeah, everything, every place you've stopped at, it looked like a. I'll, I'll drug give you another shot. Here, let's see. Yeah, man, more drugs. They're get, they're kicking in by the end of the video. Look at this. <laughs> you play it for One a second. Well, in motion, <laughs> instruments and all these things come. The DMT is a hit. The chemistry and like the art and all oh, like, the art. I get. I'd say, listen to telephone line, even if you're not a musician. My hair looks good though. Good. Think about it, and that that song is insane. Some of you these. You listen to Super Tramp. Mm-mm. Yeah, she's super interesting, though. I, I didn't mean to. She's in sweetheart. No, she's cool. Yeah. Uh, wow, interesting. Anyway, a little bit. Uh, you might say you were having salacious thoughts yeah. about her. I'm curious now. Who's the who's the most like off? Is off the nose a thing? You know, when someone's on the nose, they're an off. The... Yeah, you can do off the nose. Okay. Well, who's the? I don't think that even really fits here, anyways. Well, who's like the the weirdest or most unexpected per- person you've had on here? Or oh shit! Surprisingly um, good. Uh, we had a guy that masturbates on feet. Oh, I was gonna say C man. C man. Yeah. The C man. We had C man. He's a foot fetishist. Cool. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you've seen the guy on TikTok. He fucks peanut butter. He puts his dick in peanut butter jars. Wow. He was a good one. He came in here. He sat here for a full hour. No, 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 no. Oh. He just called in. Oh, I didn't want I him it. in the studio. Got it. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, gosh, I don't know. I mean. Oh, Martin Scarelli called in. That was that was good. Oh, I hate, hate him. That's the one that the guy that sold the Wu Tang album and then yeah, ripped yeah. off all the cancer. Actually, people. what's interesting about that call is that I'm pretty sure it was used as evidence against him in court. 
Yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. No, he's Fuck a piece of shit. Yeah, probably the one of the worst people on earth. I don't know, man. Um, shit. Tip, maybe. Maybe Tip's the most yeah. off-the-wall, unexpected one. I was gonna say Bill Burr, man. Really fun. Oh with shit! Don't bring that up. Come someone, on. Someone, hey, someone else did it before me, man. Yeah, I had so so. There's there's deep lore. Bill Burr came on. It was like the worst fucking show interview. It was just horrible, and uh, that that was like my lowest moment on podcast mm-hmm. history. Why you guys like not agree with stuff? You've been looking at that vape a lot. You getting? You is there is there substance in there? Yeah, there, I mean, not not weed, not pot. Oh, 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 no, it's just a, it's like vape nation, man. Oh, it's just vape nation. Yeah, really. There's, so it's just it's just. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna get high. No, you're not gonna get high. Because I, I got wouldn't shit do to that. do. Yeah, I wouldn't do that okay, on, on a fucking. Okay. We're, we're we're gonna vape okay, up. Cheers, bro. All right, dog. Oh fuck yeah. <laughs> Here we can rip it fatter. Oh yeah, it tastes like headshot. Yes. That's fucking sick, dude. Thank you. Elf bar. Elf bar, man. Shout yeah. out to the elf bar. I found these just kind of laying around my house, like in the studio we have, but I cleaned them off. So don't Thank don't stress. I, 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 yeah. Yeah. I believed you, man. I, I went in there with trust. Thanks, man. All right. Well, um. <clears throat> Another. I, I wish we had more Adam. Pick to read or or questions to ask me. Bro, t- or, let me run the show, dude. Yeah, I'm not. Is it that awkward? Yeah. All right. Well, actually, here we have actually. We had a great moment with the vape, so I wanted to follow it up. Something, something hot. Yeah. Let me see if people if chat has um. Chat has anything to say? How can you read the chat and? It's know? fast. It's fast, but I think <clears> sometimes <throat> it catches up and it looks faster than it is. Like. They want us to kiss. That's the first thing I saw. Like that. Okay. Well, you want to do a peck? We got, kiss, we got kisses on. I'll peck you. We got kisses on. Can we kiss? I give you a peck. <laughs> oh my God, you guys! What is what is this? Uh, it's it's it uh, great for socials. I All right. Do it. Kiss. All right. Kiss. Do I put my arm around you? I'll or yeah. do we give you a big fat kiss. And just a peck, right? Mm-hmm. No tongue. No tongue. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But you're looking at me so <laughs> intimately, bro. Don't treat me uh, like one of your milfs. Uh, you guys eyes. can't see his hands on my leg. It's not even on camera. Yo, yeah, treat me like one of your milfs. You kiss me like a milf. Oh, no, guys. I'm gonna kiss you like, like, like this. Mm. Mm. Soft lips. Uh, hey, you even gave me one of the. Yeah, well, I didn't even. I'm, I came here with. That was my goal. So. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Sorry, you. I'm just uh, a bit smitten here. My goodness. I'm mean, gonna ask Eva if you can name your next kid Gravy now. I know. I, know. <laughs> yeah. I just had a Gravy minute there. What a salacious kiss uh, <laughs> you had over there. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard to come on to you all salacious, man. It felt right. Oh, we need to have a Pride minute after that. You're right. Yeah. Uh, let's have a Pride minute here. Yeah. This is the minute where everyone can be proud to be their true selves. You know, we support LGBTQ rights, trans rights, all that. We heavily believe in that here. Oh, yeah. And there's just so much, there's so much homophobia, so much transphobia in the world that I think it's important to give everyone one minute, that's it, to express themselves, be proud of themselves, to, right. uh, you know, uh, uh, and, and to just feel like, come out of the closet, you know, see the fresh, breathe the fresh air, run on the green pastures. You know, the weather's fine. You're a normal human. Don't be ashamed that fuck everybody who tells yeah, you man. that who you are isn't right. Also, I'm sure you've said this, but if you live in like a small town and you don't feel comfortable, go go to like Atlanta neighborhood or go to like the Gaberhood. West, the West Hollywood neighborhood and you will they have the coolest. There it is, there. man. Just you'll, leave, bro. Just or just go visit, and, and you'll see that it's Have a very a common night. thing. Yeah, yeah, check it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. You are no, okay. Uh, 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 okay. I'm uh, not gay no more. Yeah. So Prime Minute is over. All right. Uh, everybody, back in the fucking closet. Shame on you. Uh, you guys disgust me. How dare you? You are an abomination. Back in the fucking closet. Freak. Shame on you. And you know what? Being gay is a choice that you made. To, in the face of God. Who in the hell do you think you are? Back in the closet. You with me, Gravy? Mm, nah. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Jesus said. <clears throat> no, I'm not gonna go there with Gravy. Please. Gravy. Um, yeah, yeah. There's a um, there's somebody in the uh, call lobby that uh, wanted to call in. <coughs> I don't know if you want to set that up a little bit. 
My grandma texted me. So Olivia's uh, grandma, grandma texted. She's, I guess she may have seen some of this. And mm -hmm. So your grandma's calling. Mm -hmm. Olivia, your grandma's connected? She has a thing for artists who come oh, on the okay. show. Oh, okay. We've talked to her grandma before. She's a character sometimes. She calls in. We have right. a rule that whenever she calls in, we have to talk to her no matter what's happening. Awesome. So let's bring on... Um, Does she look like you? I don't know. Let's see. All right. I'll find out. Oh, what's oh, up? a little dulled yeah, up. So, so, oh, hi, hey, Grandma. Hey, uh, Nana, how are you? Nana? I don't know, Grandma. Can I call you Nana? Uh, I'm Grandma Treat. That's okay, Grandma Treat. Treat. Grandma yeah. Tree. Treat. Treat. Like yeah, so treat. I'm here with uh, Young Gravy, the Gravy Train. Hello, beautiful. You're bouncing. Cannot hear you. Oh. Oh, you can't shoot. You, can you hear us, uh? Hello? I'm here, but every time you talk, I get, like, vibration. Is that is that possibly on her end, Dan? Yeah. It could be. I think... Um, it was working fine earlier. Can you hear me okay? Oh, this is bad news. No, it sounds like you're playing an electronic piano. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm interested. Mm -hmm. I, wish I, was. I think you're getting echoes, what I would assume. And not, and not in a good way. <laughs> hmm. Some echo. Very good. Grandma treat, everybody. Well, you look <laughs> great. Exclusive. You like your art? Wait, we gotta figure this out. We gotta, we gotta try to figure this out. Get her on the phone. Just call her on the Can phone. Can you hear us? You leave the video up, mute <sighs> your speaker, Grandma Treat, and then I'll talk to you on the phone. How's that sound? She can't even hear me. I got her. Yeah. I got her number. I'll hit her up. Terrible. Just, Just joshing. I was like, yo, what? This guy's fucking well, everybody. Uh, just being silly, man. You being a silly? Just goofing. Uh, give me a kiss again, bro. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, geez, I didn't. I turned my phone on mute. So wait. Okay, Hi, Grandma. Here, here, give me, give me the, give me the. Uh, yeah, oh. just have pass it here. We have to always talk to Grandma Treat. It's the part of the rules of the show. Thank you. Hey, Grandma Treat, just leave your video on and mute your speaker. I think you're just having a feedback issue. All right, hang on. Yeah. Not real loud. You ever play tech support for Mills? Yeah, it's I mean, yeah. reconnecting Because <laughs> sometimes it's like, uh, you know, a there's a bit. need. Yeah, there's a little, little effort. It's not even connecting. Hold on. For yeah, once we had a guy on called the Cougar Champ, Kyle the Cougar Champ. He only fucks grand, like old ass grandmas. Is that something you're into or no? I can't say I, I haven't really experienced it. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. Good for him though. He was crushing it. Okay. Good. That guy was cleaning up, dude. Yeah. Wild. Good for him, man. Because it's not a competitive market. <laughs> it, yeah. It's facts. Uh, Grandma, are you there? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to connect back into the Zoom Well, no, no. We'll just talk on the phone. We'll just talk on the phone. It works. You put on speaker. I got on. Isn't it on speak? It is yeah, on it is. speaker. It's quiet. It's as loud as it gets. All right. Grandma, uh, thank yeah. you so much. It's been a pleasure. That's it? Is that it? Well, I don't know. How do I have the conversation? It's not working. What's up, Grandma? What's up, Grandma you Treat? You want to talk to Gravy? What's up, Treat? Okay, I'm going to hang on. Oh, God, I can't even join on, on, on... Just speak to us on here. Just speak to us on the phone. Let's get it. Hey, how are you? So, first of all, you Great. Do, actually, you do sound like uh, Bill Clinton. I sound like Bill Clinton. Word. I usually hear Barry White, but I'll take that, too. Nice. Thank you. Oh, I'd, I'd go around the world with you. Oh, Amen. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, your grandma's no. kind of acting up here, Olivia. <laughs> Every time. Yeah, if we wanted to, yeah. I, ain't, I mean, anything Barry White and talks about, six, I'm down for you're that. Six, seven, wait, you're six, seven, and you've got a deep voice. What could be wrong with this picture? I can't think of anything. <laughs> Me neither. Music to my ears. <laughs> Olivia, your grandma's what, fucking what wild, What are you doing dude. later? Yeah. What, are you in L.A.? Goodness. I am. You hold it up to the microphone. I am in yeah, LA. Oh, wait, does this beer come out of here? Wait, where's the sound coming out of the bottom? Bottom. Where does the sound come out? Look at your ass. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Goodness, yeah, all right. Have some respect. This is a distinct. No, she said some very respectful things a moment ago. I don't know if y'all heard them. Okay. It was cute. Maybe it was just for me. Uh huh. Is that coming through? You can literally just put it on there. You know what I mean? Just... Yes, you can. Yeah. Oh, my God. Well, Grandma <laughs> Treat and I are discussing a date. Later. What the fuck, you are? Already? That babe? took like ten seconds. I, can't even, I didn't even hear yeah. what she's saying. She said, uh, "She said that's, I was." That's uh, all the better. Wait a second. Wait a second. I got. I have a question. What's a girl got to do to get into a music video with you? Into a music video? <laughs> what? Oh, she no, no. That's post date. You know. For sh okay. 
I mean, you got to tone it down. You're already buying to get in a music video, Grandma. Bro, she's always hey, been. Like I got, I've got, a, I've got a good itinerary of people okay, that I've done music it. videos with. Okay, you got it right. She's not a cloud goblin. I mean, it'll start out with a different sort of goblin. I am Gob not. A, I am not. I am not that. Yeah, I know. I, I am. I was not just trying that. to be silly there. I, uh, we, we'd love to connect. Let's do that. I'll show you my artwork. Amazing. That you got to, that you got to see for a second. Yeah, hey, it was gorgeous. Well, thank you, Treat. All right, Treat, listen, uh, I, I'm was... not trying to put Olivia in this awkward position. I appreciate you calling in, but I'm definitely not trying to have you fuck Young Gravy. Dude, total cock block. Well, I mean, listen, I mean, uh, <laughs> Olivia should have some say in this, if I'm going to allow this. No, I've had just about enough of my grandma. All right. <laughs> for right now. All right, Treat. It's wow. been a treat. I, I, I feel like I put and I... Wow. No, I love you, Grandma. I'll see you later. Uh, yeah. I had COVID for two weeks. Did I hear from you? No. <laughs> Ouch. Ooh. You know what? That is my bad. That is my bad. I would have been at the bedside. I'm so sorry. I'll bring you. I'll bring you something this week. Yeah. I'll bring you something tonight. Yeah. Oh. I'm just kidding. I'm sorry, Olivia. <laughs> <laughs> Will you bring me something tonight, Gravy? Bring you something tonight? Yeah. Yeah, bring something tonight. You've got a great voice. You've got a really fabulous voice. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Yeah, right. no, listen, it's really listen, nice. It's been real. All right. All right. Is there anything else you guys want to say before I hang up? This is out of control. No, nah, it's not out of control. We haven't even gotten started. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you? Amen. That? Amen. You really what you got, Grandma? Give it. Come on. No, I think I think we've, you know, rest comes later. I like we haven't been down this road before, my God. All right, listen, uh, Grandma, have yourself a great day, and um, thanks for calling, okay? We'll be Grandma? in touch. Yeah, uh, you will not be in touch uh, with uh, the gravy train, okay? Look elsewhere. Thank you, Grandma. Talk to you soon. Jesus, that woman is a... What a sweetheart. Relentless. What a sweetheart. She usually like that? <sighs> yeah, sometimes, usually, yeah. Usually she comes more. on strong. She comes yeah. on. Usually more than that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, wow. Sometimes, well, sometimes. Damn, okay. I thought I was, a little fucked up. I thought I was special. <laughs> All right. No, you Zach. are. She. I mean, she doesn't come on to me like that. Shit. Yeah. Zach. She doesn't talk to me like that. <clears throat> well. All right. Well, uh, that's about. I mean, what else, dude? You. What. What else we got? Um. Uh, Adam Levine. That was good. We'd love to see that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you play. Uh, 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 did you hear that? Um, I heard, yeah. This shit's kind of nuts. Ray J? And, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't totally understand, but it sounds crazy. So, the Kardashian sex tape that she shot with Ray J, apparently they, like, sold the distribution rights to, like, a big porn company. I didn't know that. I thought the it was... contract where, like, basically the mom wanted it to happen? Yeah, so, the story that Ray J is saying is that they shot the first porn... And her mom reviewed it, said it's not good enough, and made her shoot another two. Is that a I, lot? That, yeah. I mean, that's, wow. I, I honestly, I guess Chris, I, I can't even relate. I have a sex tape leaked and I can't relate in any way. This is baffling. Okay, so this is actually interesting. So, Chris Jenner went on a polygraph test on James Corden's show, and he asked the question about her involvement with the release of the tape. She denies having any involvement with the, with the release of the sex tape. The man who's running this test is a fucking scammer, bro. He's a f total fraud. This guy's in every YouTube channel. When James Charles stole our Teddy Fresh hoodie, this is the motherfucker that did the polygraph. The oh, is he like a... Yeah, and he, he just... Plugged in, he's like... Play, play yeah, dude, he'll just he'll tell you whatever he wants. I need his contact. That's what I'm saying. He's good to get out of jail free card. Wow. Yeah, so... Um, so we're not sure what's going on. But this is not really legit. Weird. Yeah. It's really weird, whatever's going on. Why is she making that face like it's like a porn cover, you know? Uh -oh. Like a, oh, I'm so surprised. Yeah, by the way, TMZ uh, obtained an email from Vivid in which she informs Kim the tape made $1.4 I'm surprised that was it. One point four. Yeah, that's it. I've heard a lot about that. This one. was uh, in two thousand seven when it was first released, though. It's so, okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's Flash. probably made a lot more since then. Yeah, but that's so fucked up because their story was always that it got leaked, isn't it? Yeah. And so she, they were getting paid off on the back end the whole time. Her mom. 
Damn. Well, she filed a lawsuit against the distributor claiming she didn't authorize the release, but then it was shown in some emails, uh, I believe a few months later, that they were sending her receipts of how much money it made. Dude. There it is. So Your mom, her mom's her pimp. Her, Love that. Her pimp. mom's a, a businesswoman, I guess. In a I mean, if you're going to have way. a pimp, why not your mom, right? You know, you can trust her. It's a crazy sentence. Just, <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm trying to look for the guess, yeah. right side there. Well, um, there it is, folks. Young Gravy. Yes. He's everywhere. Really? You're on tour right now? People can buy tickets? Yes. I have a tour. Well, I'm doing a bunch of college shows right now, which are kind of private. But, but uh, November and December, myself and Baby No Money doing uh, U.S. and Canada. ton of shows. And then I think I got Australia and Asia in the, in the early next year. Where do they go to buy tickets? They would go to, just look up Young Gravy, anything. If you want to find me on whatever, just look up Young Gravy and then tickets or Instagram or yeah, smart. whatever it is. Yeah, I don't know. Also, a huge single coming out this Friday, exciting. C'est la vie. Mmm. Whoop, whoop. They're going to be jamming that. It's been a good time, man. Exciting. First time I've ever kissed a man. Yeah? That's it. Ever. The one and oh, only. wow, I'm proud. We're on a romantic, uh, Beautiful, we're having a romantic moment. Yeah, man. So Surprised Hila so didn't call in yet. Yeah, I want to say, I want to say hi, man. I say hi. Hey, uh, yeah, we can call her. You want to say hi? Yeah, I want to say hi. Where's my phone? Oh, it's good. I got banned on. Every time I stream on TikTok, I get banned. For what? what? It's a little crazy. Oh, actually, it says internet air, so this time it wasn't the uh, tater tots. Uh, the All the Andrew Tate kids are always um, oh, no, recording they me. Don't. Wow. Yeah, they don't like me. No! Do they still exist, the Andrew Tate, Andrew Tate kids? Yeah, man, they fucking love him. He's their man. The that's taters. crazy. Call them the tater tots. Taters. Tater tots. That's insane, man. Yeah, let me call you for you. Oh, I'm doing Jimmy Jimmy Kimmel tomorrow too. That's just fun. You fact. are. Yeah. Fun. If anyone that's wants exciting. to tune in, tune in tomorrow night. Are you what? Are you just first or second per guest? Performance, performance. Oh, performance. Hello. Hello. Hey, I'm here with Young Gravy. Ila. He wanted to say hi, and also I just wanted to. Hello. I wanted. Hi. I didn't want you to hear this from somebody else. I wanted you to hear it from me and not see it online. That. Um, <laughs> I'm kind of embarrassed and ashamed to say this, but uh, me and Gravy kissed. What? We did. Uh, it, was, it was great. It was great. It was cute. I I initiated. It was just a it was just a peck. I mean, I didn't move my lips, but he did one of these. Yeah. Okay. For dramatic I mean, effect. I just. Bruce was not at first, I didn't. I didn't realize there was a, a child. You know, I, th I thought it was her at first. <laughs> the kids don't seem happy. Uh, Bruce has a lot to say. Yeah, I'm sorry, Bruce. <laughs> like, it's not Bruce. Uh, all right, all right. Sounds like you have your hand full. Uh, I'm sorry. You know yeah. That's um. As long as we like didn't open the mouth. No, no, no. I said explicitly no tongue. Mm -hmm. I'll bet. Yeah, I'm sorry, but okay. So that that's what it is. So um, anyway. I did okay. like it. I just want to say that. Oh, okay. mm. I just want to All be right. totally transparent. Mm. <laughs> oh, but it's like that one. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, you did you want to say anything else to uh, oh, just my about, wife? Yeah. Uh, thank you for understanding, and I'm uh, hope to meet you someday. And good luck with your children. Yeah. If you're worried about um, Monty, you better fucking watch your back for you. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I know. I already know. Yeah, I'm gonna go up on TikTok right now. Yeah, we'll talk some <laughs> shit. Let's do it. Yeah, All right. I'm gonna take off my shirt and start screaming. Making some TikToks. That sounds scary. <laughs> All right, listen, uh, we're about to wrap it up, so I'll see you soon. All right. Okay, Bye. love you. Don't have too much fun, okay? No, 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 I won't. Everybody stay in their seat. Absolutely, you got That's it. Fine. Okay. All right. Bye. Hey, you know what? What did FussyTube think about that kiss, uh, Zach? I felt worthless. Fussy? I felt ugly. I felt gay. I felt that no, uh, <laughs> like that just based on what they told me. <laughs> it's a, it's so, it's so, it's such a deep layer joke that I'm sorry to even All right. uh, put you through that. It's like a word. Like Matt, Ma you would fuck with Fussy too, man. Yeah. He's, he's funny as hell. You think so? He's a goofball, man. It tastes like beef jerky. <laughs> He lost his marbles. I probably do. If anyone tastes like beef jerky, I feel like if I had a... You look like a little slab of human beef jerky. Uh, yeah. I like that. Mm -hmm. Listen, I had a lot of fun.
Me too. It was a really good time. Thanks for being here. Thanks, man. You know, it's really great to meet you. I'm happy for all your success. I love your music. It's super unique and interesting. I can tell you're just having fun. Absolutely. I mean, the hits, great. Okay. You don't believe me? No, no, I believe you. I believe you. I just thought it sounded like you were starting a sentence, you know? Oh, you want me to go on? You haven't heard or you... No, I I think it's great. Good. Thank you. Obviously, obviously a lot of people do, you know? Thank you. I think you're going to be... I think you're going to get so famous that you hate it. I already do, so we'll see. Even more. I think you're going all the way. We'll see. With that gravy train. Those are good things, too. So, here she goes. Would you ever consider dropping a sex tape with Addison Ray's mom? Because nope. I think that could be something. Nope. That nope. could be, uh, that could do a lot of, uh, units. Went through that whole thing and it was stressful and I'm good, man. I'm chilling. I have sex in private. Um, members go up. Thank you for the gifted. Thank you for the 50 gifted. Uh, Tip, it was nice meeting you as well. Good to meet you too, man. Uh, I always wanted to meet, uh, 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 Sloth from the Goonies. Good guy. Lovable character. It looks more like Sloth from uh, Ice Age, honestly. Oh, that's true. <laughs> Sid from Ice Age, you're yeah. talking about? Yo, yeah, how many? Man. You look like all the sloths. Sloth, yeah, man. sloth from Ice Age. Let me pull I'll that up. I'll fuck with that. No, I think the most accurate one that I pulled up was. Uh, he's getting to. He's getting a nut. Him, like him and I nut. look like. Uh, yeah. Me and him look like Gumby and Gumby's horse. That's that's the closest oh, I've really God, gotten. Yeah. Start with Gumby, that again. And Gumby and Pokey. Pokey. Yeah. We started a whole little thing about this, but yeah, man. Do you like being Pokey tip or not? Nah? No. Do you not see the I resemblance a little bit? Yeah, I do. I don't <laughs> like it. I see it. That's whack. Bro. That's accurate, man. Look I'm at not, him. I'm muting myself. On Wait, that hold on. Let me see tip. Should pull him up again. Yeah, I see the resemblance, bro. I don't yeah, know, man. like the hair color, you know, you, the. It's all there, dude. But Gum- Gumby was. Gumby was the man. And his horse was a good guy, too. You know, yeah. they, they had a good thing. Dude, yeah, they're legends. Good team. Man, I'm built kind of like Gumby. Asshole, oh, bro. They didn't do shit, bro. What did they do for the community, bro? They never did nothing. Uh, right. Fucked around bold all day. Bold statement, bold. Well, what what did guys, they do, uh, bro? What do you guys do other than fuck MILFs? We do cool things, man. Come on, dude. We, we don't need money. Hey, we, I mean, for the community? I mean, that is. Did I, am I off? To, am I off? Target here? No. Nah, what do you do for the community? Matt provides really? happiness for people. Provide happiness happiness for you people. say Gumby does it? Why yeah. you gonna put Gumby down? Hell no. Nah. He's putting Gumby down. I think yeah, Gumby. No, nah, not play. you, yeah. Why you gotta put Gumby down Gumby down, bro? He don't do shit. Who are <laughs> you? you never heard of him. What? The youth doesn't know about Gumby. That's probably true. See? Mm-hmm. Come on now. But at one point he meant a whole lot. He was balling out for he sure. He fell off. <laughs> yeah, Gumby did fall off. <laughs> L loser bitch. Should have put the horse. You know <laughs> Lumby. Put the horse on. Lumby. Nah, but it was a really fun time, guys. <laughs> really fun. I wish all the best for you guys and see you again soon, hopefully. Yeah. Uh, um, Come to a show. You're in LA, right? Oh, yeah, that'd be great. I'm in LA. I mean, I won't be in LA for a really long time because of tour, but. Busy, busy. I do have a show here. When? I'm here every once in a while. It's um, December 4th, I think. We should go December that 4th. Oliver off. At the. <laughs> it's the Palladium, right? Palladium. How many Palladium. feet is that? Is that a big one? It's not it's a big one. one. It's, it's, it's decent, like 3,000 maybe? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, can I come on stage and say yeah, what's up? Hell yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. I'd like to. Let's do it. Can we kiss again or do vape? We can kiss on stage. Hell yeah, man. Stay. I can bring the 50 battery vape. Uh... Yeah, we have the backpack one. <laughs> have you saw seen it. that? Yeah. I can bring us. that. Let's get it. <laughs> you should you just, like dance around stage the whole time hitting the vape? It's super heavy, but I can manage it for a little bit. All right, it actually sick. weighs like 100 pounds. It's kind of that unexpected. is insane. Yeah, it's a lot. Oh, yeah. It's a lot of battery. A lot of hardware. Huge clouds, I bet. <laughs> the, the, the fattest. The fattest, man. <laughs> Shut <laughs> Dude, insane. Fuck. Um, there it is. Young Gravy and Little Tip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Hello, baby. Man. So much fun. Look him up. He's on TikTok. He's on tour. They're everywhere and they're crushing it. Thanks. Bro. Thank you. Nice man. meeting Thank you. Thank you for having us. Really fun time. Great guys. Good people. Love you, man. Treat. Uh, if you want to get up with Treat, we can. You guys can talk with. Uh, it's up to Olivia if she wants I'm to give treat. you Treat's number. Yeah. Thank you. Members go up. Yeah. They still watching. People are watching. Are our people still watching us right now? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Are you saying did we end it yet? Oh no, no, yeah. Okay. So yeah, if you're looking at anything up about me, wherever you want, just just it's Y U N G Gravy, not not Y O U N G. Young Gravy. That's the only thing that really trips people out. But if you search Young Gravy with with just the U, find me wherever. Oops. What did we, you went Young me? when you went Young Gravy? Was that just like the street way to do it, or why didn't you spell it like Young? Y U N G. Why did I make it different? 
Yeah. Just because I thought I thought it would stand out. It was it, it looked better visually, and and uh, one of my favorite rappers is is Young Lean. Oh yeah. Who he um, spells it that way? Spells it that way, and I just was like, I want to do it this way, man. Have you met Young Lean? I've met Young Lean. Oh. I know. I'm you're looking pissed. forward to it, dude. He had. I've tried to go to his shows uh, a few times, and every time he has a show in Minnesota, that someone calls a bomb threat. What? It's been like four times. Yeah. I mean, I, I assume he's done one since then, but that was when I like was able to go to shows. Are you guys? Is he aware of you? You guys talk? I, I think he liked one of my messages once, which okay. to me was like huge. He's, yeah. he's, a, he's a very like antisocial person, but that's funny. I yeah, I know, I know a young lean. You ever drink lean? Is that you into lean? I tried it. I didn't think yeah. it was yeah. that special. It's just drinking like cough medicine, right? Like Nyquil. It's like or? no, not really. I mean, it's like a lot different than like Nyquil, but it, it it is a cough medicine. It's kind of like similar to an opiate. You reference that on say la vie, don't you? I did say something about mm. lean. Oh, I said oh. I said. Double cup. Right after that line I said earlier about the double cup ice with the with the Tampa Lightning, I said double cup, but it ain't no lean. Mm -hmm. I only sip syrup when I'm with Chief Keef. Oh, okay, uh -huh. nice. You uh, hang out with Chief. And, and then I said I play clean, PC. I pipe Christine, PC. I pipe correct. I'm so PC. Wow. Watch of P's and C's, you know. Out of people, control. Out see, of control. People look at the surface level, man. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. But Chief Keefe is a great guy. Yeah. If you get him on here, that'd be awesome. Okay. Great fella. And uh, we can maybe we'll work on the Young Lean connection. That's important. That'd be awesome. But so Lean, you have to get from Let's a doctor, go. right? You need a script for that? Yeah, it's really hard to get it otherwise, and it's really expensive. And I tried it. I'm, I'm over it. I don't need my thing. You need to drink a whole bottle of that shit? Is that how it works? It no, seems like gnarly. I don't know. It's not like, you, you ever do like robo-tripping? Is that what you... Uh, no, I, I know what it is, though. <laughs> no, I haven't done robo-tripping. I, listen, I admitted to smoking crack on the show. I'm okay, not trying all right, to be, all right, all right. I'm not trying to downplay. Well, robo tripping is lamer than crack, I think. I don't know. Have you smoked crack? No, I haven't smoked. I crack. smoked. I tried it once. I smoked meth. It was not cool. Oh, I haven't tried meth. That sounds crazy. I think we should. Yeah, let's just not not do either. Oh yeah, no, I'm good now. Robo tripping is you just drink a full bottle of Robitussin and you. Robo just start that was going. like high school shit, right? Yeah, there, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I had homies who did that. So you just hit a whole bottle of Robitussin, and then I mean, what does that make you do? It I never sleep. I never really felt much, man. I thought my friends were like acting like fucking wolves it and shit. Have been and that I was, much, right? <laughs> I, I was just, I just hit it, and I like felt kind of weird. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend that. No, 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 no. Um, meth. What was that like? Pretty wild. You got like super blasted on. I didn't that? know. I didn't know. When I, the first time I did meth, <laughs> sounds crazy. You Twice, did. two times on accident. Yeah. The first time I, I snorted a line that I thought was coke before my first show ever, and it ended up being oh, meth. Shit. And it was like, dude, I was like, I was the show off the wall. It, it was good, but I was so hyper and like screaming my lyrics. I have kind of chill lyrics, and I was just like really, really hyped up. Like I had, a, I had a good time, but I felt the like the show was good. Yeah. So meth is good for a show. <laughs> but I felt like shit for for days after. Yeah, yeah. I don't, good think, show. I don't think meth is good. Yeah, no meth. And don't the second time you did meth? Second time I did meth, it was it was uh, I was hitting a, a a bowl that I thought was weed. And it was it was meth, and, and it was, I think I call that a sherm, a sherm stick is when they uh, sherm stick is when they combine weed and meth. Wow, yeah, that was lift. and that was just weird. I was like, oh, I know, I just hit something different that tasted weird, and oh, it wasn't crazy, but I was like, I don't know why, I just. A little sketch when you're like with that many people and everyone's passing. Yeah, shit. You never know. it was like just a few people. Uh, I've actually, to be honest, I've heard. I know a lot of people who were like just chilling, thought they were gonna like smoke weed, and then then like it was like heroin or some yeah, crazy man. shit. Yeah, man. Gotta be what careful. Crazy dude. It was it was this this gay fellow that was on um, house arrest for selling meth. Okay. Handed me meth. Interesting. And he was like, hit this. And uh, <laughs> Interesting. I did. And I'm, I, I was like, yeah, that wasn't weed. He's like, yeah, it's meth. Uh, I was like, oh, all right. What? He like intentionally right. tricked you? No, I mean, I don't know. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Interesting. That's really fucked up. Yeah. But I mean. Uh, let's keep him on house arrest. <laughs> let's not let him out. I would assume he probably let's, let's keep him in there. Okay. Well, there it is, guys. No meth, no crack, and certainly no robo tripping. Yep. Uh, any drugs you do recommend? DMT. Really? I think everyone should try it once. It's really cool. Interesting. If you think you can, you know, if you're down with psychedelic stuff, I'd recommend DMT. You, how many times have you done DMT? A lot. Oh, really? A lot, yeah. But it's, it's a you, short thing. It, like, it barely lasts, like, it lasts like 10 minutes, so it's easy. So what, what is it you look for when you do it? What do you mean? Like, well, like, sometimes you'll do drugs, like, if you do MDMA, you're, like, looking for this, like, euphoric, happy high. You smoke weed to relax, stuff like that. You know, you get drunk, you're having a good time at a party. Like, what is it? Because I know it sh is short lasting. Uh -huh. What is it you're looking for in the experience when you take DMT? Just like get away. Like, I like do it in private or like with a couple friends, and it's just a crazy. It's it's kind of just 
to see what your brain's capable of, basically, because crazy shit mm. starts going on, and it's like it's just interesting. It's pretty cool. So it's a it's just a psychedelic. Do you, you found that you find uh, like insights into yourself through doing DMT, or it's changed you in some think, way? I don't think DMT. No. No. It, it's too quick and it's too crazy. It's like all this shit happening at once, and then you just wake up. It's not scary. Like for I, you. I think I have had sort of realizations on like sh shrooms and stuff, and I think there are, you know, there's some good good things that people can learn on psychedelics, but DMT is kind of just a cool experience to try out. And You don't feel scared on DMT? It seems scary to me. It's a lot of people say then they try it and it's kind of like, well, dope. not that bad. Hmm. I don't know. I don't recommend trying it. There it is. DMT, folks. The opportunity. There it is. Will you do DMT before the show if I come? I mean, it'll be gone. I used to do it before my meet and greets, and, and, and really, yeah, what because it, but it was just a good way to relax. Though. I would hit, hit DMT. The DMT. I'd hit the DMT relax? and have like a cool, like trip experience. Then I would meditate. And then I'd go to my meet and greet. Oh no, I'm yeah. saying go out there high on DMT. Well, it's gone by the time I, you know, it would, it would be gone already. Well, yeah, sure. Is that, I'll do that it. short? Wait, <laughs> sure. how short is it? I thought it was like ten minutes. If you like really like blast off, you like fall asleep and do a whole. It's a no, whole I'm thing. But like, if I just hit the hit the DMT a little bit and went on stage, I'd, I'd by the time the First song's over, I'd be sober. I'd love to see that. All right, cool. That up. Let's do it, yeah. Okay, kiss yeah. Me. If you kiss me on stage and you hit the vape, I'll hit the That's DMT. interesting. I'm down. So there it is, guys. There That's it is. Happening. I think yep. we should stick to G Fuel. No, no, we can't. Uh, no, 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 I hate it. Fucking no, dude. Stop, 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 stop. We're no, Gamer Sub Nation, dog. We're Gamer Subs. Yeah, we're Gamer Subs, gang. G Fuel's our enemy. Oh, I didn't know there was a difference. Do you know they put lead in their fucking shit? G Fuel puts lead in there. Or, well, Turn. I'll say, I don't know if they put it in there, but there is lead in it. This tastes like Baja Blast. Like. Yo, pull that up. Look how much you drank. That's the real shit right there. Oh, it disappeared. <laughs> yeah, put it in front of my shirt. No, that's not how that works, is it? It's going to be green no matter what. I drank most of it. There it is, guys. Thank you, everybody. All righty. Take care, everybody. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on uh, tomorrow morning with Hassan. Yes, sir. Hassan? We have a lot to talk about. You know Hassan Piker? See the America deserve 9 11. Oh my god. Nope. <laughs> no. All right. That's thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs>